I'm live on mine. Are you? Yes. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning, morning everybody. Good morning, Anna Louise channel and KPC <laughs> channel. Welcome to the KPC Live. <clears throat> How are we doing? Um, so basically, you can see we're not a threesome today, although I put my title as Kelsey went to be here. Mm -hmm. Shall we? I'm just gonna <laughs> let me just uh, spill the tea on this. And if she ever decides to come on next time, then she can explain her side of the story. But um, I actually saw a comment like last week sometime, and I, I can't remember where I saw it, mm -hmm. but somebody was saying, I think David and Anna have beef with Kelsey. That's why they what? haven't been all together in such a long time. And I saw that comment, and I was like, mm. I mean, okay, like that is just not true. Yeah. Uh, that is just not true. I mean, you have, have you been uploading to KPC though, the actual videos? Uh, no, No, actually. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's like backlogged. So right. there's so many we filmed, uh -huh. but it just hasn't been uploaded yet. But anyway, we have no beef with Kelsey. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, we, I messaged her being like, do you want to come on the live tomorrow? Yep. And so you can, we can actually just talk about this mm -hmm. and you can just come in and join in on the live. But she's like, okay, Anni, I'll come because also she lives really close to here. Mm -hmm. She lives really close. And she's like, okay, I was like, be there at 10 a.m. We're going to do the live. And she's like, okay. And then I, I fell asleep. Mm. And then I woke up at like 7.30 this morning. And I saw a text from her at like 2.30. Yeah. And she's like, Onni, like, I'm just not coming to the live. Sorry. See you next time. Like, mm. no explanation. And I was like, um, Kelsey. And then you, you also saw the text from you saying she sent you the same thing. Yeah. Saying that she was not coming. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, it doesn't matter in the end because me and David are going to do this life regardless. We can do it well. But it's just, Kelsey has flaked on me uh, one too many times. You know this too. Okay. Yeah, she has flaked on me one too many times. Whether it's like this kind of work stuff or just like I'm inviting her out to stuff. She always says yes. And then either on the day of or like a few hours before, she's like, actually, no, I'm not going to go. So you just said we don't have beef, but it sounds like you're creating <laughs> beef. So I don't have beef. Let's just leave it there. I don't have beef. Let's leave it there. I have there. love for everyone. I mean, I'm, but I'm... I sent her a text this morning being like, at first I was like, why? What's the reason? Because mm. I need to understand, you need to at least give me an excuse so I can understand what the reason is you're pulling out. Yeah. And then I was like, Kelsey, I'm saying this as just like an observation and as like a fact, I am not angry at you, but I'm just saying, you do this, you tend to do this like a few times. You flake and I was like, it's, if you say you're going to do something, it's good to commit to your word. So then next time when I ask okay. you to do stuff. I, I think that's, yeah, <laughs> you've explained enough. I understand why you I need have, to explain I don't hate Kelsey. I don't hate John either. It's just, I just like to. Yeah, so I understand why you need to explain because she put it on the thumbnail and she like, yeah, I put you know, on the posted it on the story and like the viewers were probably expecting it, which on my end, I didn't prepare anything. So like, I'm like, she was like, oh, I can't come tomorrow. I'm like, okay, <laughs> see you next time. I mean, I'm, we but, can do this live regardless, but anyway. Right, anyways. I have to explain like, the title and my Leave it there, thumbnail. like she probably has some like problems or whatever. Yeah. Um, but and, um, please excuse my, my, like, my nose is all stuffed up and my throat and everything. So. Right, right. And also uh, about John, like, I, th I saw a lot of comments yes. that, like, don't bully him. You guys were too harsh on him. I guess it kind of, like, um, appeared that way. But uh, in reality, John actually reached out to us and said um, he, f he felt bad for you because you were oh. receiving those comments. And he was like, oh, I didn't, like, you know, I didn't want Anna to receive those kind of comments. Like, it was all, like, in, you know, just fun, fun of the moment and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and we, after that live, we went and had lunch, and me and John exchanged Instagrams, and... Yeah, I mean, I, I know I can come off quite strong, yeah. but obviously, I think if you guys know me, that was not my intention to bully him at all. Right, right. And I so, always, it's always in the back of my mind to be like, I want to keep these lives like entertaining. Yeah. So I'm sorry if you took it in that way, mm -hmm. perceived it that way, but obviously that was not my Yeah, but intention. to make amends, uh, we will invite John in yeah. a few weeks and he will um, <laughs> give, get his shot to like address all his questions and I asked him like what kind of questions do you have left and then he was actually oh they're actually kind of like intros to like the stronger questions that I already depleted last time I already asked them last time and then he was like okay I'll just I'll just prepare stronger in general questions for Anna to like put her on the spot so I uh, look forward to that but anyways, let's go on into today's so let's, stuff. Let's do some catch-up talk first. Catch-up talk? What? What? So how was your Christmas? How, what did you do for Christmas? Um, it was a white Christmas. <laughs> I went to some nice Korea. places. Yeah, I went to Lotte World Mall because oh, there was like did? a giant tree. Yeah. 
I there were so many people because I went on. Oh, you went to Lotte Roma too. I had dinner there on Christmas Day. Oh, me too. Yeah. Oh, you did. No, on Eve. Eve. On Eve, I went yeah. on the actual day. Okay, yeah. so yeah, it was a nice place. There was like a merry-go-round, like so a many people. Big, big tree, like a Christmas garden and everything. Um, had dinner. That was probably. <laughs> It, yeah. I started getting sick. I like test. Oh, you're sick? No, it's like it's like at the end. So I don't think it's contagious okay. right now. Okay. I started getting sick on the twenty third. Mm. I suddenly noticed when I was speaking on the phone to somebody. I was like, oh my god, my throat is suddenly really mm. bad, really mm. bad. Immediately to hospital because it's like I always say like you have to get it at like the beginning stages. You have yeah. to get medicine immediately. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, go to hospital immediately. And I was like, oh my god, but I had plans of for Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, mm. all this stuff. And then so I on the. Uh, 24th I was actually on the eve that's yeah. like the main day where everyone goes out and like mm -hmm, parties mm -hmm, and stuff mm -hmm. on that day I just was at home just like the whole day just like lying down mm -hmm. and then on the Christmas actual day itself I went out in the afternoon evenings I had oysters but like mm, oysters yeah it was really good weird selection Do you not like choice. oysters I don't know it's just random for Christmas <laughs> no and uh, yeah because I was trying to make you feel better like beetle book like what mm. do you call it like soup that's good for you yeah, yeah, yeah. to make you feel recover mm -hmm. so that's what i had yeah david had a shower literally two minutes before this yeah, live that's so, why we were late yeah i need i'm gonna like <coughs> be keeping uh i'm gonna keep on touch my hair because like uh i just had a shower but yesterday night my family had like an emergency my grandma had kind of a stroke and she went to like the er and uh, I had oh, to like no. stay up all night, um, like looking after my grandpa, who's all left alone in his house and stuff. So I came straight away from there. I barely got any sleep, like two <coughs> hours. So I just took a shower uh, because I'm a civilized person. <laughs> and here I am. Okay. Wait, um, wait. Was that a solo date for David? Archie says. Um, yeah, you can imagine whatever you want. I don't think David would go to look them or as a I, date by himself. I went with Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, and Rudolph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, thank you, Crash Override. A stroke is serious. Yes. Um. Yeah. She's okay right now. She went into surgery operation two times during the night um but hopefully a fast recovery and everything's gonna be good uh yeah <laughs> mm, <laughs> yeah so yeah oh that is a very very bad um segue into the first news we have today do you want to get into it now already uh no let's let's, let's read some comments first yeah, yeah. Um, let's give some room first because i don't want to transition from my grandma to no, let, we'll get news. into yeah. that we'll get into yeah. that um another singles in final season three reaction coming later yes so after this i'm going straight into editing and i want to be upload it by tonight so morning time for you guys yeah tomorrow probably mm. Oh, is Singles coming. Inferno actually It's actually good. It's actually good. It's my favorite season. Really? This, the, yeah, out of the whole I haven't thing. heard that much hype nowadays. Like, usually if it's something's hyped, you know, it's mm. bound to be on Instagram and it's mm. bound to be on your feed. But I've I, seen all it on I've Instagram. seen is like that really buff Busan dude or someone. Uh, Jin Seok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's been popping up. Yeah, yeah. And like that. He's the best one. The, the basketball player, like, stirring up. Yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah. But, it's actually entertaining. But it's, other than that, I, more drama. I've seen the girls. Yeah. Okay, this is my own opinion, <laughs> my personal opinion, but I don't. Oh, I should have. I, no, I probably. Sh it. I shouldn't say anything. No, what? What? No, no, no. Who am I to say anything? No, it's just. Don't take it so seriously. I'll just say really. this. I just think the 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 contestants, like the the people, the participants, like it. It was it was best when it was season one, and yeah, it got kind of mild. Like to two, and now season three, it's kind of like. No, I actually. Like, kind of like, you know, going down, down. For me, yeah. like, I really think this season they put in the most effort to try and make the most drama. and... Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Like, they put a lot of, like, functionalities and stuff, yeah. like making two islands. Oh, I think what David wants to say is you, you think seasons one's cast visuals were the best? Yeah. Is that what you're yeah, trying yeah, to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I mean, like, the visuals for this season is good, too, for the girls. I'm just talking about the girls. Mm -hmm. Like, for the guys, it's pr pretty much been the same for me, uh, because I'm a guy. Yeah, you <laughs> Except, like, Dex. Except Dex. He was, like, exceptional. Did you think... What if I saw Dex? I, I don't think he's, like, visually, like, astounding, mm. but, like, his charisma and his, like, character, it's just, like, mm. out of the charts for like compared to other people but i mean he's done really well yeah 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 himself. He's, and for the girls on this season though like you know like they kind of look they kind of have similar vibes except that one girl has on 
Cool. Like, she's, like, super tall and, like, mm. she's, like, very bright and giggly. But the other girls are, like, you know. But Hezan also, I've seen some comments of people being, like, she is a bit annoying. Like, her reactions mm. to stuff is overdone. Like uh, People are going like, <laughs> yeah, like, to nitpick on Yeah, like, nitpick on everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's that's coming soon this yeah. evening. Go watch her review. I'm, I'm not... I've stopped watching it after, like, episode two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, any more comments you want to address? Or? Mm, mm. Yeah, everyone's just saying sorry, David, for your grandma. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, is there anything that I have for down on my list before mm -hmm. I wanted to... Oh, wow. Oh. Welcome. Mm, 130 people, yes. Oh, okay. 260. Very good. Um, so, actually, yesterday... Yes. <laughs> um, I had an, I learned another life lesson, which I had already learned from you and Danny. <laughs> <laughs> no, because yesterday I had me and Danny and I. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, the life lessons that I learned from just observing my surroundings, mm -hmm. you know. So you know, I I rep like off from our naked soul lives. We had a collab with um, the guys at Hangout Soul, yep. the two handsome guys. Yeah, um, they are a Korean streetwear brand. I they, I wear them on my Instagram all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he sent me a text. One of them sent me a text. One that I'm closest to because I knew him from London. Yeah, he was like, by the way, this is when I was in London. He was like, I am not uh, doing hangout anymore. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, what happened? And I was mm -hmm. like, we need to catch up when I get back. Yeah. So yesterday I had dinner with them and like our group, mm -hmm. London group, and I asked him what happened. And like, obviously without getting into too much detail, it's right. just basically like, yeah, friends should not go into business. Something about like, you know, just like, Hey, why are you framing me and Danny <laughs> like that? We got like a, a breakup or whatever. It is like. Basically, but they were just like, they don't, I was like, so you guys not, don't speak anymore. Like something happened with like, accounts and whatnot like that kind of thing yeah and he was like yeah I, like they completely is mm. clean separation mm. we don't even talk anymore they've had a friendship Whoa. for like like eight years Whoa, that's yeah. wild eight years and now he's like i don't speak to him anymore okay. and i was like that's sad yeah that but this like is what it's it is like the golden rule like <laughs> don't do business with your, your friends? Uh, friends or <laughs> yeah it, it like the only thing i think is tolerable is doing it doing business with your family yeah but even family sometimes that yeah like, it, like close family yeah. not even like your cousin or yeah. you know like your you know actual family family mm. but if money's in the way if like you know perspective different perspectives yeah. all that kind of stuff yeah like, work ethic or yeah yeah all those stuff like clash together and yeah. it's not wise to do business with yeah friends mm. yeah so I was like, that is so sad, but that is the lesson that I learned. And honestly, I'll, I will say, like, there there were conflicts between me and Danny. But uh, the thing that bo that binded us for, like, seven years was a very strict contract. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why contracts exist. Yeah, yeah. That's like, even, even between friends, you need very strong and strict contracts. Mm -mm. They need to be clear. Mm -hmm. And because we were clear on that point, we could, you know go on for seven years and, but then like what happened was just life in general mm. it's like we turn 30 you mm. know we go our own paths mm. you know, so aren't Anna and David doing business together um no we have separate channels which I like <laughs> a lot Anna has like double my viewers but I'm getting there I'm gonna get there um and we have separate streams of income here so super chats please <laughs> Christmas presents please <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anyways okay. um, my business partner of seven years cheated me and lied and wanted it all to be about him contracts are a must Ooh. of course contracts yeah, are yeah. a must basically you can't even trust family sometimes even family betray each other sometimes yeah. because of money yeah our family has money issues I would yeah, say my, on my mom's side I had um my, yeah, my mom's brother always asking us for money, this kind of thing. Oh, thank you, Liege, for the two pounds. Yay! Hey, pizza fam, what what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Um, uh, some Sometimes people outgrow each other and even as a business perfect. Yeah, this is just what happens. Mm, it's it's, it's just what happen. happens, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and thank you, Sith BK, to welcome to Banana. Hey, I have a membership too, so please <laughs> join to get your name highlighted in the chat. Okay, so David constantly mentioning Anna's numbers. Yes, Sith BK, and please use the emojis because yeah. they're fun. Okay, I Wait, think we should we get should into go, the yeah. menus. Okay, okay, let's go in. 
Okay, so too. let's tone down the mood a little bit because yeah, we're getting into the serious stuff now. Very sad this is news. like the biggest news in right, Korea right now. Right. I think everybody must have seen it already, oh. probably. But yeah, basically, I mean, there's nothing more to it. Um, the actor Lee Sun Gyun. Um, of Parasite. Of Parasite. Oscar winning. Of My Mister. Yeah. Of like recent Sleep or whatever. All those dramas and um, movies. Mm. He ended his life. Um, and it was very tragic. He he was found inside a car, his own car, yeah, in, in the Jungo. middle in the middle of Seoul. Yeah, At, in the morning. Right. Yeah. Wait. Sorry about that. My audio is gone. So let me just. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I will talk then. Um. Wait. 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 Oh. Please wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I just address that one more time? Okay. So, sorry, sorry about that, but the audio should be uh, <coughs> here again. But, yeah, basically, there's nothing more to it. Uh, Lee sung Gyun, the actor of Parasite, My Mister, and a lot of uh, good dramas and movies just committed suicide. He ended his own life. Um, and he was found in the middle of Seoul in Jongnogu in his own car. And uh, he ended his life using Dongetan. Yeah, how do you say that in English? It's like... Coal? Coal, like, I guess he uses it um, like carbon monoxide yeah, to basically... Like we have to be very careful about this subject on YouTube. Also. Right, right, right. On so, the live himself. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, that's like a common way. Like, yeah. I don't want to say common, but it's like a very well used... Because I think it just puts you to sleep, doesn't yeah, it? Kind, kind of, of like the most easiest way out. Right, right. And it's the kind uh it's kind of like the um what do you call it? Easiest material you can buy. To get that Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So that's the uh that's the tragic incident that happened mm. and the whole nation was shook. I was shook yesterday when I was like in the morning, mm. like out of nowhere mm. at eleven AM or something. Like there were Reports coming here and there that Lee Sung Kyun was found dead. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. I w I also saw these. Mm -hmm. He left a farewell note because obviously he he has a wife, isn't she? Also an actress. Yes. Yes. He He's has a, a wife, actress, yeah. and he also has two kids, kids. Mm -hmm. two sons. Um, they've already apparently been sent abroad to avoid all this drama mm -hmm. back in Korea. Yeah. Um. So. He left a farewell note in his house, mm -hmm. um, and his wife found it, and that's why she ended up calling the police and reported him as missing. Uh, he left a note saying, um, there's nothing that can be done, and this is the only way, as in, this mm. is the only way out. Yeah. Um, he also left a message to his company, his agency, saying, I'm sorry that the penalty fees for the ad adverts oh. in the films are so high, because obviously after a, a scandal like this, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, cheating scandal, drug scandal. Then, um, if you if you're mm. a celebrity and you have adverts, then yeah. you have to pay huge, huge fines right. for um, you know bringing the image of the brand down. Right, right. You know, this so happens. the agencies will probably have to cover those fees. Yeah, even they will after have to cover his death, his death. Yeah, because it's breach of contract. Yeah. yeah. So he was saying, "I'm sorry, there's no way out." <sighs> and to be honest, I was saying this to my friend. Like, mm -hmm. oh, obviously, this is terrible. Yeah. But like, if I were him too, I would, I would be kind of maybe th thinking the same thing. Like, there's, no, I mean, there's like everybody a, has their own viewpoints on this. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think it's very tragic. Obviously. Yeah, I think like, you know, I feel a lot of like empathy, mm. sympathy, empathy towards mm. him. But, you know, on one side, I'm like, was that the best option for him? Like, truly. Like, even like, I, Jung Jun Young and yeah. Sun Lee, those people are still, like... I mean, people are built differently yeah, in the inside. Like, yeah. like, there's, like, a tolerance level yeah. of what you can take. Of what you can withstand. Right. But yeah. Lee Sung Jun, like, he had a lot of weight on his... Like, Sun Lee and Jung Jun Young, they're not even married. You don't, they don't have, like, yeah. a lot of obligations. Yeah. But, like, he was a father of a family. Yeah. And I guess... I, my personal view is that, of course, there there were like the weights and uh, issues of like money and like the contracts and drugs and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But I would have personally be, been more ashamed of like the like allegations for like sexual, you know. Yeah, he was cheating on his wife. That's yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's yeah. like hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah. like you know, you have two children. Yeah. Your 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 sexual activity is like you know just publicized all over the world. Yeah. And actually, and the day before he this is event not event this accident mm. happened, the um, f recorded phone co conversation between him and the 
29 year old uh, madame of yeah. like the like the club yeah like the sec like what do you so call it room salon room salon yeah. club um they all it all got leaked so everyone right. listened to it i didn't hear that Did I, I i listened to it on what, youtube what what was like the uh content of it just Basically, briefly uh wait hold on so the madame actually she is my age uh -huh. david she mm. is 29 yeah yeah she looks way older it was it was sexual like the leaked uh, that's audio wait, that's what she looks like okay but uh <laughs> she looks like um yeah typical. i don't i don't know if you can show her face like i think really? that's kind of like uh dangerous but it's all over though okay. but like you know in korea even if like the person is a criminal she, she can sue you for uh, defamation well anyway um she she on the phone she called him up mm -hmm. and then she was like um as in, she was like, I've been interrogated by police, mm -hmm. and they are saying they know absolutely everything. Yeah. I think somebody has tapped, like, has left, like, a recording device mm -hmm. in my house because they know everything that went on between me and you. Yeah. Like, they know that you've used to come to my house a lot. Um, like, yeah. When, she was, once that kind of stuff gets leaked, yeah. you know, the mental pressure, the yeah. emotional pressure is, like, just so <clears throat> hard. And basically, yeah, yeah, apparently, yeah, he was married, but he did go frequent her club a yeah, lot yeah. and he would get very drunk mm. and afterwards he would just be like oh let's go let's go back to yours let's go back to yours mm. and then apparently she'd be like because he was so so drunk and then she would take him to her house apparently he would be like yagi so like do you have any mm. like substances yeah i mean let, let's just leave it there because yeah, so like, that's why so people think that the phone call being lead like pushed him over the edge i i would i think that's the catalyst yeah too. probably it's definitely yeah um uh, but yeah in terms of i think the criticism the the public opinion right now is like despite all of this coming out i mean you know okay the, let's say the allegations are true he did drugs he did like the sexual activities with the madame or whatever mm -hmm. People are still saying that the police and the government or whatever, whoever was the 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 main, you know, the who who led this case, mm. like the 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 press, the media, the police, mm. like they've gone too far this time, mm. and even like the people that has have consumed this mm. article, like yeah. So um, I don't know. I feel like that's the case too. Like the police in the beginning, they kind of started without like any like <coughs> very concrete lead mm -hmm. and then they started like you know leaking or i mean they started like publicizing all the um information to the media and the media like you know made a whole show out of it because it was getting clicks and views and i was kind of like kind of disgusted you know like you know when um someone commits suicide or someone dies on youtube and like when that um video is like um monetized or whatever people mm. criticize a lot mm. um but like the news channels it's the same they they just like put in ads everywhere yeah, it's the same right 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 yeah. it's the exact same thing yeah and it, it was not even like an after like what we're doing right now we're covering his news r after his death right mm. but like right after like it was like breaking news and they were putting in ads everywhere and that, that's how like, and people don't criticize the criticize the news agencies for that yeah like, but so, that's their job to break the news so i guess uh, but um also another thing um so the woman so basically they're saying um that phone conversation that even got leaked mm. they are suspicious that the the madame and like she was in with other people just to like extort money yeah from from him she was basically blackmailing yeah she was black yeah. basically blackmailing yeah. him she was like oh yeah these people that are investigating me they say they want money mm -hmm. um on, because they have so much information on us and on you and like yeah. it can ruin your career your public image mm -hmm. um so uh okay she's 28 actually identified as a um and apparently there was 19 hours of questioning for interrogation him. for him yeah so like what kind of person would withstand that mm. you know like 19 hours that's like yeah so you barely was, get any sleep she was trying to extort 50 million korean won which is about 40k usd um yeah she was the female manager of an entertainment establishment they extorted him he actually paid that um, 300 million Korean won. And then he reported it to police because he was like, I actually don't think this is right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I mean, so many details, but what use of it, what use is that now? I, my, 
my heart goes out to his wife and mm, the kids. Me too. The most. Me too. Because yes, yeah. I feel bad for him, but he, they're gonna have to, they're left to have to, to deal with the consequences yeah. and the shame and the embarrassment. That's, yeah. That it's mm. kind of selfish in some, suicide is sometimes it is selfish because you're just like, I can't deal with this pain anymore. Yeah. Okay, I understand that person is in very much pain, but what about your family that mm. you're leaving behind? Yeah. How are they gonna carry on? Right, right. Honestly, I could never commit mm. suicide because of the fact of my, like I would, think my mom and like think of my mom and my dad and like my other families yeah. and I could never yeah but um it's a very I guess it was a very difficult you know decision mm. for him um he had other factors as well like <coughs> contracts and stuff like I guess he couldn't like just bear mm. with it like he would have to like work all his life mm. to you know but he's still an A-list actor. Like there are people. Like, I think he could have in... rebounded for he sure. He could. Have, he has. He has to really work hard for several years. But they make so much. They can't. They have the potential to make so much money. Yeah, yeah. Korean yeah. celebrities can make. Back but you know, like debt those and... those like breach of contracts. It's like you have to pay tenfolds of like what you're That's used true. to get. So, I think like the easiest way out in these cases is usually just to like you know disappear mm. so that's why a lot of politicians celebrities when they're in like scandals and they're like effed up with contracts and stuff they're like mm. i have no way out so yeah to be honest i mean like i said i think if i were him i would feel that immense pressure too and i'd be like okay like i just don't mm -hmm. want to be here anymore mm -hmm. like that's what i would have said too but like imagine being his wife right yeah, now i mean your husband cheated on you and the whole nation knows about it yeah. your your kids you're sending them abroad because you don't want them to deal with the drama here and now he's just you have to deal with this the funeral everything my heart goes out to his wife the most and kids yeah and kids must be really hard and to be honest yes i feel bad and like yes he's been like witch hard and he's been extorted very bad for the actor but also <laughs> He should just not have gone to this room salon as well in the first place and yeah. been cheating yeah. with the I mean, lady. let's just not talk about his, like, faults or whatever but mm. when, once the person's, like, you know, already gone, so... Mm. How old are the kids? I think they're, like, two up. So I, I'm not sure, but... I think teens... It's probably not good for their mental health yeah. right now. Their state is... Yeah. Know, so sad news, but this is like the all the stuff that's been mm -hmm. on in the news. And it's Korea. such a it's it's such a big tragedy because like it's such a big uh, comparison to G Dragon's case too. Oh yes. So like if you see G Dragon's news, let me show you. Um, so he was investigated on the same thing. Yes. And um, <coughs> but he was found innocent. Like you couldn't find any like substances of. Uh, drugs or whatsoever mm -hmm. so uh, he used his lawyer to like sue everybody who like um, put up malicious comments mm -hmm. or like fake news on the internet and stuff like that and um, after that he even uh, made this just peace foundation, uh, foundation for anti-drugs mm -hmm. and he uh, invested uh, no not invested donated 300 million won mm -hmm. in the name of his uh, group and uh, fandom VIP mm, mm. so yeah like G Dragon actually rebounded the rebounded out from this you know yeah. um, like 100 200 percent because yeah. now he's actually announced that he's going to um, resume activities yeah he's gonna drop solo albums and stuff yeah he used this as like a turning point for him yeah and it must have been really hard to like withstand all that spotlight and speculation mm. for a whole time but like him being like the big celebrity he is mm. i'm pretty sure his mentality is now like yeah he's been yeah. famous for how many years like yeah for his whole life yeah his probably. whole life and yeah he dealt it in the best way he could yeah this was the best um mm -hmm. in terms of public relations as well that was the best thing to do right, to serve right, this right, foundation right. also i got a super chat thank you everyone hates joy um, hey Anna and David, I wonder if public reputation and cannabis will be less scrutinized after this. Love your channel so much. No. No. Not at all. No. Not at all. It's it, it's not an issue. I mean, it's not the issue about cannabis and weed. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. It's more than that. It's just you know, all these allegations combined. Mhm. Mm uh huh. I mean, yeah. Like, I, like we've said it on other KPC episodes as well, mm -hmm. but like drugs, just very uh, old-fashioned view. Um, and people generally will think 
the weed will be a gateway to other harder mm -hmm. drugs. And that, I do think there is truth in that. Yeah. There is truth in that. Well, what did you say? Sorry? I said weed can be a gateway drug for other stuff. Yeah. Harder yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there is truth to that. Yeah. So just because of this incident, that like people's view in Korea of cannabis or weed is not going to make any difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. It's like the gateway theory, you know, you, you can say it's debunked or whatever. Um, but of course, there will be minor cases that people use it as a gateway and especially in restricted places like, like Korea. <coughs> but more than like the gateway thing, Korea has like a consensus that the law should be abided, like no matter what. Yeah. You should be like a good citizen. Yeah. And if the law is broken, whether it be like irrational or not, mm. in that state, you've already broken the law knowing that it's illegal. So it doesn't matter if it's like a weak drug or whatsoever. You're just breaking the law knowing that you are breaking the law. Yeah. So there's like no justification behind that. Yeah. So until the law changes or like until like weed is like publicly known as like a medically safe or whatever, weaker than alcohol and whatever like people know that already mm -hmm. but the reason they're just restraining for it from it is because it's against the law mm. and they don't see people who break the law like whatever what whether it's weed or like stealing bicycles or whatever they don't see them as like nice people so mm. yeah do korean police actually try to shut down the brothels or are they paid to look the other way because of the rich clients they're they're not paid to look the other way but it's just so rampant they they just exist yeah they just exist yeah. everywhere kind of right <laughs> yeah and it's like the police have better things to do oh. than to like you know go brothel to brothel and like inspect that's not a brothel but that's like a club so so in my knowledge uh, for you to get caught, like for you to get, uh, what do you call it? Um, prosecuted? Prosecuted or charged yeah. of uh, prostitution or um, buying sex, you need to be caught in the scene, like in mm. action. You need to be having like a sexual activity right in front of the police mm. officer. Mm. So it needs to be like a very like, you know, impromptu mm. charge into mm. the place. And he needs to open the door and has to see you doing that and, and there needs to be a trail of transaction as well and actually those the this particular club that he was at the room salon that's not they it's just like a drinking yeah place. so they can actually do it there you can't have any legal grounds to prove that there is any like prostitution going on mm. over there so like these places just are <coughs> publicly open mm. And, so like mm. what happens like they can like clients can come to these places they meet these kind of special girls mm. they will drink get to know each other they will probably go to a separate place yeah. to do the deed mm -hmm. but they don't actually like do the boom it's not like Amsterdam like red light district it's right, not like right, that right um actually the more like the private actual brothel brothels it's like mm -hmm. just like the one room like office tells in Gangnam right, right, those right. are like the actual right. brothels actually yeah but these kind of rooms along clubs they're not brothels uh -huh. it's just like a kind of high class drinking place where you can make meet these ladies who are willing to do that to like um yeah they'll probably go sex. to hotels afterwards yeah hotels yeah. or that kind of thing mm. but you don't actually do it at the establishment yeah no. or maybe you could there were maybe certain celebrities that were caught doing it yeah, like maybe you could ding 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 i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember his name but mm -hmm. he was caught doing a lot of meth and mm. famous for doing stuff in the bathroom in those kind of clubs <coughs> yeah and yeah it's just like more of those um those private, like, small one-room, like, office tells in Gangnam. It's called, uh, Opi. 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 Yeah, it's and like... there's, like, if you go around Gangnam Street, I was in Gangnam yesterday yes. night. There are, like, these leaflets on the floor with, like, these naked ladies, half-naked ladies. Yeah. And they say, like, you know, one, what, 30 minutes, one hour, mm. you know, like, $100, $200, stuff mm. like that. And it's just, like, everywhere. So, like, a lot of the stuff that you see, might see on TikTok about, like, oh, my Korean apartment in Gangnam yeah. is actually, those kind mm -hmm. of rooms exist for those kind of girls as well. Right. It's literally, they live in those types of rooms. They get clients sent to their, right, right. their house, their room, and mm -hmm. that, that's how they do their Yeah, so, business. like, uh, I, my friends, they are, like, all in their early 30s, and if they don't get married, they live in a lot of office towels. Yeah. I'm actually lo looking into go, uh, moving into an office towel mm. as well. But whenever I go like hang out at my friend's place like a nice ass uh, office tall in Yoido mm. or like the business district mm. 
we order food, and then whenever I go out to take it, there's like this very old man with like a very big belly, and he's like usually drunk and standing randomly in front of a room, oh. like ding donging. And then once the door opens, there's like this very gorgeous lady and oh. says like come in. So that's like all the uh, office tell oh. stuff going on over there. So oh. it's very very common. It's very common. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Linda, thank you for doing the live tonight. You are certainly covering so many topics that tie into the same thing. Stay well, thank you. Yes. <clears throat> Wait, um... So, yeah, it's so tragic for Lee sung and his family. And I, I do think we it's, like, it is social pressure. There is a factor of social pressure from the society as well. Mm. Like, the, the there was brutal force from the police investigation as well. Mm. And then I think the unforgiving public of Korea is another factor. Yeah, for sure. And like people like to gossip about this kind of stuff too much. Mm. Like they consume it as like tea, actual mm. tea. Mm. And uh, they, they're they quick to judge. They just jump on conclusions. Uh, they don't care about the facts. They just hop onto the sensationalism, mm. the bandwagon. Mm. and. They just like comment whatever, spread fake rumors without mm. like facts, and that just kills the celebrities. I feel like, mm. you know, even if it's not a celebrity, like any kind of scandal. Public issue. figure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, everyone's saying, arguing here, like, oh, alcohol is way worse. South of Korea course, is a raging it's alcoholic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Alcohol is. This really is why I don't even too. bother about talking about weed to a Western audience. I've even because heard the same things the same are always. It's like, oh, how yeah. can you say weed is better? Uh, like, alcohol is yeah, stronger. Yeah, we talked yeah. about this so many times. I've even yeah. heard some people in Korea being like, I don't drink because mm -hmm. drinking is so bad for you. But I actually think smoking is better for you than yeah, drinking. Yeah, yeah. There are so many arguments. I mean, like if this. you go that route, <laughs> if you take everything rationally and if you disregard culture or like historical background of mm. any country, like how are you gonna? What are you gonna say about women's rights in like the Middle East or whatever? Like dispute about that like <laughs> rationally and scientifically, okay? So like you know, <coughs> it is what it is in Korea, and it's going to change if people accept it more widely. But right. For now, mm -hmm. like it's illegal mm -hmm. and you can't do anything about it. The social consensus is like that. So, yeah. yeah. Wait, uh, Archie says, Yeah, I was wondering how much social pressure and unforgiving public was going to come up. That and be a, and be a bigger factor than the actual scandal itself. Yeah, the unforgivingness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, couldn't he have just left the country? I think it was more like the shame that he brought to his right. family mm -hmm. and also the huge fees that he would have had to mm -hmm. pay back. Yeah. Um, just And it, just everything on top of him, he was just like, I just want to, I'm done mm -hmm. with this life. Mm -hmm. I'm done. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. South Korean people can be unforgiving and judgmental. <coughs> so I actually studied on this while mm -hmm. I was doing my master's studies for like K-pop fandoms because it's related mm -hmm. how like K-pop fandoms are more... Un Korean fandoms are particularly more unforgiving than Western fandoms. Mm. And it's because, like, in general, like, the Korean public and the fandom, like, there's, like, a, you know, overlapping space over there. But in general, Korean people have, like, a high sense of morality, even if they are not clean themselves. Mm. They just have a high sense of morality. Their standards are based on Confucianism yeah. and also, like, being a good citizen conforming mm. to society mm. if you get out of that box and do something weird mm. or like something outlaw mm. you know they just instantly try to judge and mm. like witch hunt mm. all that kind of stuff so mm. yeah i don't think it's a good thing like sometimes it can be good like in the overall society like for instance like there's low low crime rate it's safe mm. you know like during covid or whatever everyone conformed or whatever mm. like sometimes specifically it can be good but like in like these cases like once you like start witch hunting and just criticizing and all that kind of stuff it's it's not good yeah well, korea is such a small country compact country mm -hmm. as well whenever something like this happens it just like spreads like wildfire everyone yeah. knows about it yeah yeah it's just in this kind of issue yeah yeah um, in the meantime, let me just address the super chat. Sorry, like I just feel bad that I can't um, say anything about it mm. because like it's such a heavy topic. But uh, I skipped uh, Ashwar 
Ashwar yeah, Kunyar's uh, super chat. Thank you for the $4. Uh, Erico English, your super chat is not popping up. Oh, here we go. <coughs> so thank you for the $20. I'm a Japanese 66-year-old lady living in Florida. A late Christmas present for you guys. I will go to Japan, Fukuoka is your hometown. Visit Busan next March. I've never been to South Korea. Welcome to South Korea. Welcome to Busan, my hometown. Literally the best. I'm biased. But I love Florida, even if I haven't been there. <laughs> but Merry Christmas. Merry belated Christmas Happy to you. Happy holidays. New Year. Yeah. Um, wait, Korean wait. culture and society is where the U.S. was in the 50s. Yeah. But you know what's ironic? A lot of the Asian countries nowadays are kind of scared to become like the U.S. right now. Mm. Because they're like, oh, we don't want that political correctness coming mm. into our country. That It's gone overboard in the U.S. It's too woke. Yeah, yeah. like there, I, th I see a very an anti-movement mm. going on. I th that's kind of generally not just in Korea, but like I see this kind of like this really too far like yeah yeah leftism and usually the 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 main subject for that is America when yeah, they talk yeah. about it. So I see that kind of general um, feeling growing mm -hmm. anyway, regardless. Yeah. Um, oh wait, I got super chat. Wow. And Chenami, thank you for the membership. Thank you for joining. Um, hold on, let me read. Patrick O'Brien, thank you. What is the standard of living for someone who did everything right in Korea? How much should you be making at 28 if you went to college, make good grades? What does a typical 28-year-old earn and have done if they have done good? Okay, do you want to talk about this? Yeah, you go on first. So if everyone has done right in Korea, mm -hmm. how much should they be making at age 28? If everything you're doing right. Well for yourself? Like you go to Sky... Is that went, if you went to, I'm guessing that's what he's asking. Like, if you just kind of did well for yourself after grad, after uh, first of all, Korean guys have to go to military for two yeah, years, yeah. so they have like a slight delay. Yeah. Um, but after that, if you 28, you're just entry. Yeah, you're literally yeah. just entering the corporate mm. market. So it, even if you have a good starting out job, you're you're still like in the early baby stages of your career. Yeah. So my standards for go doing everything right would be going to Sky University. Like the Ivy Leagues yeah. of Korea. And then going to Samsung Electronics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the most elite course mm, you can get like as like best, a... The most well-known companies like Hyundai or Samsung yeah. or LG. Yeah. And if you go in entry level, I would say like after tax, you would get like maybe uh, $3,500, something like that. That's a good entry position yeah. Yeah. job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I've seen... I also be more and more cases in Korea more people are like some people start businesses like 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 online business yeah. or like advertising agencies or whatnot even like during high school and mm. they suddenly do super well yeah and they carry on doing that I mean that's the case where they've done really well mm -hmm. but like the traditional done well for yourself route would be go to a good Korean university go through military and then come out and like get a really good job yeah yeah I mean the, the, the best the top top tier would be going to med school or law school Oh, yes. And then go into, like, a law firm and become a doctor, then mm. you would get, like, probably more than that. Mm. Probably, like, five 5K per month. Mm. Um, and then go up upwards from that. Mm. Uh, and then below that would be going to, like, a Sky University, going to Samsung, Hyundai, LG, mm. whatever, stuff like that. Mm -mm. But it's kind of, isn't it kind of ironic whenever you think about that? Like, in Korea, like... Seoul University, Korea, Yonsei, like nobody knows it in, in, the in, rest a, of the world. in a global scale, yeah, but we're all nobody. just fighting with among each yeah, other. It's like, kind of ironic. Like, try to go in there and like, you know, their end goal. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to degrade like company workers or mm, anything, mm. but their life goal is to go into Samsung Electronics. Yeah. And it's kind of ironic, you know, if mm. you think about it, mm. so... I mean, but a lot of people, like, yeah, get entry jobs at Samsung and they have more more ambitious. Yeah. If they're a developer or, mm -hmm. like, if they, they want to start up their own startups or right. start their own things if they're more entrepreneurial. Right. But, like, the, the irony I see is, like, among my friends, I have a lot of people that have gone that elite course. Mm. And while they are satisfied with mm. their lives because they are in the top tier of the pyramid, probably, mm. but then they still have jealousy towards, like, the entrepreneurs or, like, people the businessmen. Yeah. And they're, like... This guy didn't even go to a nicer uh, school than me. Like, uh, I grinded my ass, uh, and I was, like, on top of my class for the whole thing. And then mm. this guy, like, who's doing a random restaurant is doing mm. better than me. And they, they always feel that kind of jealousy towards, like, uh, I don't know, self, self-made entrepreneurs or something like that. So it's very ironic in that, in that case, yeah. 
Thank you, Cassandra, for the $2. I love the travel vlogs, Anna. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I actually got like um, mm. an email offer from this company. They were like, uh, they're sending influencers in like second week of January to go to Mongolia for mm -hmm. five days. Mm -hmm. They said they will cover the flights, tickets. All I need to do is just make the content. Yeah. Should I go? To where? Mongo Mongolia. Mongolia. That's nice. Been. Take me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll think about it. I haven't replied to the email yet. That's nice. Yeah. I'll go. But back to um the subject of this, like careers and stuff. Uh, also, because I've spoken to, because you know, like usually, especially from my parents' generation, yeah, they always view like doctor or like the lawyer, Tom like, Munjik, yeah. as like the the most coveted yeah. kind of jobs. And especially for like husband material, they mm. really want that kind of right. job for their right. their daughters kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I've also, I mean, I've speak, I've spoken to doctors, mm -hmm. a few of them, and some like it's like two cases, like either super, because you know to study for. To becoming a doctor is so hard. It's so you hard. You slave away for at med school. Yeah. You have no social life. You have to study ten times more than everyone else mm -hmm. to even like to get to be a doctor. So it's like right. mad respect. Mm -hmm. But some people either are like because they've been so disconnected from like society yeah, and like yeah. living, yeah. they're either like a bit weird and they head. don't have a sense of like you know social like social. They don't know how to socialize. Yeah. Or. They're like they suddenly become like all partiers, like because they want to like. I've seen a lot. Yeah, they want to recoup all their years that they spent studying inside their rooms. So they're like, oh my god, now I've achieved my yeah. dream of becoming a doctor. I don't give a f about anything. Yeah. I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna party. So this is a very widespread spread stereotype, mm -hmm. um, but you know, like there's a saying that avoid dating doctors that have just became doctors, oh. like finished their internship residence. Oh. And uh, that's because they're this like, reason. I'm going to compensate myself yeah, yeah. for all that work, all that, you know, studying. I'm going to meet this girl, that girl. Yeah. I'm just going to toy around. And then, like, at the end, like, after enjoying, like, girls are going to line up because you're a doctor yeah. just because of the fact yeah. that you're... So I'm like, I'm I'm in the, you know, the, the you know, position to choose here. So, like, I've seen a lot of my friends getting toyed <laughs> around by, like, these... Newly, you know, appointed Newly doctors. Just, yeah, they're, they're play and I tell boys. them, like, play he's boys. not serious with you. Like, yeah. he just literally became a doctor and mm. he didn't even touch a girl's hand for like 10 years. Like, Let me ask, in the in the US, is it the same? Is like, are doctors viewed like just as highly as they are in Korea? Probably. It's like, if you, if you say, like, I'm dating a doctor, do people think, like, wow, that's like really. Yeah, it's a respected job. Like, can you guys give me your opinions? Like yeah. yeah. Because I'm, I think in the U.S., yes, they earn, like, doctors do earn a lot, but there are also other professions that also Doctors, earn lawyers. More. <laughs> Pretty much the same. Finance guys. Finance guys, yeah. Business people. Finance guys aren't really put up on a pedestal in Korea, though. Yeah, and, yeah. they have a bad reputation. Yeah. I got away, hold on. Patrick, thank you for, again. So all the hustle and grind for 40K a year take home at 28. Why isn't there more rebellion to this path? I feel entrepreneurship should be hot. Well, first of all, the medium, uh, the average income level compared to the U.S. in Korea is really like a lot less. So if you even if you're earning 40k a year entry level, that's actually really, really, really good. Cost of living here is way, way less than mm -hmm. in the U.S. as well. And also in our parent generation, I don't know what triggered it, but every one of my parents and my <laughs> every every parent I saw, mm. um, like either my friend or whatever. Mm. They just firmly believe that education and studying and being best in your class is the mm. number one way to climb up the social hierarchy and the ladder. Mm. And that's that's been like, you know, just forced into everybody's minds. Mm. Yeah. Um, people are saying, uh, yes, I'd say so. Yes, in the U.S. it's a big thing to date a doctor. Um, doctors and lawyers are highly coveted. Yes, yes. Okay, mm. fine. Yeah. Uh, let me read a super chat. Thank you, Deha Ko, for the $5. It's been a while since I viewed your channel due to work schedule. Taking care of my mom. Always appreciate your takes on all things Korea. Thank you. Thank you so much, Deha. Okay. Yes, it's respected, but not above other great positions. Mm. Doctors are hot, but they were hooking up with other doctor nurses throughout med school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of people, you know, like the doctor and nurse... Chemistry, you know, you see that a lot happening. 
But the doctors are rarely serious with those relationships.、Mm. Yeah, especially with the nurses. So. Yeah, but I must say in Korea, like, literally, girls will line up line to date a doctor.、Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter、even、what he looks like. Even if they're like, like, you know, their face、yeah. is like. Literally, even if he's like literally not attractive at all, they'll be like,、yeah. oh, doctor, let me get married to you. Yeah. <laughs> It's literally like this, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, finance guys don't have such a good reputation because they have like the、uh, image of like. They have to drinking、um, all the time. They have to like, like you know be with their clients. They have、yeah. to、um, go drinking. They either they go to the, like these room salons. And they don't look fancy like the New York you know <laughs>、uh, Wall Street finance guys. Finance guys yeah, in yeah. suits. Yeah, they're、mm. different. Yeah, Korean do, finance guys are different. Do they not wear suits too? No. They, do they not?、No. They do. They do, do. They do wear suits, but、oh. I don't know why. But like the New York guys versus the Yoido guys, they kind of have a different. Vibe. I think it's a romanticized in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Suits. Yeah, they don't have like those Bluetooth like thingies <laughs> and like yeah, like sell it right now. Yeah, you know, go in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. David, would you want to date a doctor? Female doctor. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Why She's not? busy all the time. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Rich. Why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat>、um, yeah. Where? Where? What made us talk about this?、Topic? I don't know why. Why did we a, go on this tangent? It was、tangent? a super chant or something. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. It was about why. Um. What? If, what would be a good thing to do at twenty eight? Yeah. But yeah. but this is like an issue for me as well because like I'm in my marriage age bracket as well.、Mm. But like I'm like a freelancer, you know. Like、mm. I'm a YouTuber. I do like a lot of freelance stuff. So.、Mm. It's very hard to be accepted socially as like a stable or nice material husband material from、mm -hmm. like girls or parents. So I'm kind of having like you know struggles nowadays to like、mm -hmm. thinking about this.、Mm -hmm. You know, people would prefer like office guys or doctors、mm -hmm. or you know well more like stable jobs、mm -hmm. than dating freelancers and stuff. So maybe it's also like、uh, the funny the job that we have. Like、yeah. people find out that you're a YouTuber suddenly, like it. Obviously, when people like, if you have a normal job and then you go on like on a first date, for example, they're、mm. like, oh, "What do you do?" And you can just be like, "Yeah, I'm a, like, I'm in finance or I'm a、yeah. software developer." So、yeah. they like they understand what you do.、Mm -hmm. But if, when people find out that you're a YouTuber,、mm -hmm. they have suddenly ask like the most questions that they wouldn't ask to no most other people. They're like, I had literally a guy ask me like, "How much do you pay in taxes? How much do you pay in?" Like literally just asking like how much do you earn like how do you do this and I was just like because it's like a relatively unknown job yeah for but I was just like would you ask that to anybody else on a、no. <laughs> first date yeah it's a bit weird yeah yeah <laughs> so that's yeah、mm -hmm. it's a bit funny yeah <laughs> mm. Mm. so should we go on to the next one what was the next topic the next topic is oh yes <coughs> we gotta talk about this. Okay, so, you can read it out. Okay, so the next news is basically more strollers are sold for furry companions than infants. Aww. Yeah, and I thought this was a cute news at like sight, first sight, <laughs> but if you read it, you know,、um, the the monthly the the sales of pet strollers exceeded those of baby strollers for the first time. So it's pets against babies. Can、now. you not use the same one for? They're kind of、baby. different. Like, look at this. Look at this on the screen.、Oh, like, it's chihuahuas. not for chihuahuas. Chihuahuas. There are three chihuahuas on a pet stroller. <laughs> And according to G Market, the total strollers sold on the platform during the first three quarters of this year, those for pet animals accounted for fifty-seven percent, while for human babies, it's forty-three percent. So pets have <laughs> exceeded、mm. the actual human babies now.、Mm. And this is, you know, this. This just is. This is just an indicator、mm. that Korea is just effed. Popu I feel like we talk、wise. about this every week.、I、yeah, just, but、oh, like it's what、so、sells.、Depressing. It's what sells. Yeah, even in Korean news, if it's like a slow news day, slow、yeah. news week, they always be like, our population is dying. Yeah, we're fucked. Like this is. This has been going on for like the past year.、Yeah. I, I swear, like every single day on the news. But I feel like this news also doesn't help the problem. Either. I think it does. does like, it? yeah, because like after after this news has become like a hot potato, I've seen a lot of like、uh, government policies get switched up,、mm -hmm. like in favor to the like marriage and get having more babies.、Mm -hmm. So actually, my friend ha is giving birth to his second child、mm -hmm. soon, and what he said is like he's getting so much government funds、mm -hmm. that it's like a second income for him. Oh really? Yeah. 
He's getting ping man on per baby. Oh, really? A thousand dollars per baby per month. So that's two thousand dollars. And like, oh, if you really? buy in bulk, like the the diapers and oh. the milk and whatever in Costco or whatever, he's he has some like some of that money left. Mm. So it's like, oh, I'm living that nice life, you know, oh, okay. with that's the baby. Pretty so pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. It Thank raises you. awareness. Thank yeah. you, Flo Flo. Happy New Year, Anna. Let me buy your first drink. Cheers to another great year. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Super chats in my channel too, please. <laughs> oh, do you have any New Year's uh, plans? Like any party? No. Nothing? No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Yeah. I um, There's always a lot of like uh, end of year events. Like mm -hmm. tomorrow I'm going to another influencer event like Subini and a lot of other influencers. Yeah. Will be there. So mm. yeah, I don't have... I might party my party on the 31st mm. with friends and stuff. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. But yeah, what do you think of these <coughs> What do you think of these um dog strollers though? <laughs> For tiny baby like tiny dogs? I don't know. Do do you guys have dog strollers in the US? I think that's a unique thing in Korea, Korea. too. Yeah. I don't yeah. know where it's starting. In the started. US, you would just walk your dog. Yeah, you would be seen weird if you have a dog <laughs> on a stroller. <laughs> but my even my aunt has a dog stroller. Really? Yeah. But why, why, what's the part, like, why would you, instead of just walking them? Well, sometimes, I guess, like, the function for it is, like, if you go indoors to a department store, mm. you, you carry your dog on a stroller. Mm. Okay. Or um, if the dog is super old, it's like wobbling and not able to mm. walk. They put it on the stroller and get mm. some fresh air outside. <laughs> Me, he says, aren't pets supposed to get exercise? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Only in Beverly Hills says exercise. Well, maybe if you want to take your cat outside, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cats have these like UFO like yeah, backpacks. Yeah, bags. yeah, yeah. They yeah. have like little astronaut, yeah. you know, glass, and then yeah. the pack, the cats peek out. Yeah, yeah. I understand cats because they. They probably don't want to walk outside. Right, it's a bit right. overwhelming. Patrick, here is your equal attention. Super <laughs> chat, David. Yes, yes. If you have two children, do not ever give preferential treatment. <laughs> <laughs> we also have doggy car seats, whatever that is. <laughs> like dog car seats. Ah, right yeah, dog. yeah, dog car seats. Yeah. Okay, but it's it's cute and sad news at the same time. I, I just thought, so it was funny. 외국인에게 한국 열매가지 좋은 보다가 여기까지 왔네요. 아 감사합니다. Mm. Do you guys have any pets? You do you have you have a? I have a chihuahua. Chihuahua, right? Right. Yeah, I need to go. I need to go back to my dad's house. That's yeah. one of these. Cause I was gonna actually go around Christmas, but I, I got so sick. Mm. He was like, "Don't come." Yeah. <laughs> I have two Jack Russells too. Yeah. Furry babies are really like the best. I I understand why people are getting like dogs over babies. It's less money, first of all. Less money, less, less care. Less care. They you don't, don't have to educate them in hot ones yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no competition. You have to go to Sky and University. Exactly. And they, <laughs> they don't, don't... They don't cry. Yeah, they don't cry. <laughs> They're not like little assholes. They're not pissy. <laughs> yeah, they don't talk back at you. They're just angels. Yeah, they're just angels. Yeah. They give you unconditional, unconditional love. Unconditional love always greet you when you come home. Right, right, Whereas right. Whereas with your children, when they reach puberty, they're like, I hate you. Yeah. Don't talk to this me. This is why I feel like <laughs> the next generation is effed. <laughs> They don't want to take any sacrifices, any nuisances, any like <coughs> difficulties in life. Oh. And you know, having a baby is like probably the best thing you can ever do as a human being. But like the fact that people are choosing dogs over that is just... I mean, I see, uh, yeah, so many people who have children though tell me, Anna, but the feeling that you get when you have your baby and yeah. then they, when they first start talking and then they mm. say things to you like, oh, I love you, mom, I love you, mm. dad. It's, they're just saying that feeling is not comparable to anything exactly. else that you felt until in your life until that's so we obviously haven't experienced that right, right. but they always just say and then you they just say the amount of love you feel for your child is different to anything your love you feel for your partner mm -hmm. your parents anything mm -hmm. for your kid is different so yeah. until we actually get if we get to that mm -hmm. then we won't know yeah and um actually re uh, regarding this um recently there was a there was a talk, I think a controversy maybe, mm. about like lawmakers trying to pass the bill to abolish dog meat consumption. Oh, yes. Yeah. So they're officially trying to ban dog meat in mm. Korea. Mm. Uh, but I think it got, you know, like just... Delayed? Delayed or like just, um, no, it didn't go through or something like mm. that. 
Mm. So I think like animal rights are going up in Korea, mm-hmm. definitely like in the pet category for mm-hmm. dogs and cats. Mm-hmm. And uh, statistically, one out of four people in Korea own a dog. Mm. So that's a lot. You know, when I went to Tokyo, when I went to Japan, yeah. I went past like one of those like pet shops and yeah. it's like, Actually, the cost of buying a pet there is so high. Uh, Getting a cat, they keep the prices super high, so it, it kind of discourages like just any random. Yeah, yeah, I think that should be the that case. should be the way. But yeah. like for price of just like one, I mean, they have really, really pretty cats in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> really pretty cats, and, there are, and I think also because there's a lot of lonely people there. Uh, a lot of people own cats and stuff. Yeah, I saw one cat that was like on sale on the on the display for like uh, over 10k uh, and i was like oh my god that's like the entry yeah, i was yeah. like what the heck so i mean i guess that is, that is the better way though to yeah, go about yeah. it but like i feel like korea has a long way to go in regards to like dogs and cats mm. and care and carrying them and stuff mm. like for starters like the the places you say like that what do you call it punyang like pet, shop. pet shops yeah. you know they i, I it's so like yeah. uh, you kind of like pass by and they're so cute waving mm. their tails and all but it's like kind of sad too yeah yeah and i i feel like the trend nowadays is going to like the the adoption centers mm. like the the what do you mm. call them stray dogs yeah and adopting them but i also understand people do if they want a certain breed like yeah yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if you can but you can get the the breed of your dreams out on adoption. Center. I mean, that is re- the best. recently, like you know, I work for Mr. Beast nowadays, yes. and I did one of his videos, his recent video. It's probably public. If it's not public, I'm in deep shit. But <laughs> I think it's public. Okay, but anyways, his recent video was uh, rescuing 100 um, stray dogs okay. and Aww. adopting it to everybody. Oh. And that was like the most heartwarming video uh, ever. Like uh, there were a hundred dogs there. Uh, Everybody came and got a free dog, mm. and then they were did uh, they did like background checks on the owners and mm. stuff, whether they were responsible people. Mm. And like there was like a one leg, a three leg dog mm. which nobody wanted to adopt, and that was so sad. Yeah. But then someone adopted him, and mm. then Mr. Beast gave him like thirty thousand dollars. Oh adopted. wow, good for you! Like <laughs> when I was seeing that video, okay, like I'm being an earthly being. If if I was in a Mr. Beast video and you went to adoption dog adoption center and you spotted a three-leg dog and nobody was adopting it, I would go straight for that dog. Like, how stupid do you have to be to go pa- bypass that dog, you know? Like, it's there for a reason. He has dollar sign no, in no, his eyes. No, no, the dog was adorable, okay? But it's a Mr. Beast video. Like, they, there were like five people like, oh, I can't do that. They're he short-sighted. Only, yeah, they're yeah. like, oh, it only has three legs, though. Like... Like, how... <laughs> you gotta be blind as a bat to not know the intention of a... Th- like, there, of course there's no intention of the dog being there, but of course there would be a Wait, extra... Patrick comp- says, I do not believe that's public. So you just spoiled his new video. <laughs> he might get in deep trouble. No, it is public. It, it is? is, pub- it oh, is okay. probably public. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> David spoiled Mr. Beast's new video. <laughs> oh, it's public. Okay, okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. By the way, all the Korean subtitles and dubbing and all that stuff is done by me, so give me a good compliment. Ah, over the oh, very good. Okay, uh, Super Chat, Shireen, thank you. I personally do not like these dog strollers. There's so many in NYC. In NYC, really? I guess because NYC is more city vibe. Yeah, I guess. Uh, you see people taking them in bags on the subway. Oh, uh, right, right, yeah. right. I, o- I also have like a sling bag. Oh, but I guess if you're in places like LA, like California, we have so much more space. Yeah. You'll you just take your dogs. Right, 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 right. If I could and I had the like the space, I would want I because I've already had like a very small dog. Mm-hmm. I really do want to have like a big like retriever or a husky. Yeah, you know, me too. A, a big, big dog. dog. Yeah, I want a big. Have dog. you ever? I. I, when I was in London, I had a friend that mm. like just started like raising a retriever. Yeah. And even when they're puppies, they're still kind of big, oh. and they kind of put their like paw. Oh. It's like big paw. It feels so nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And just retrievers, they're just they're just endless love. Mm. Like yes. Right. So the, like angels. see these these angels have won over our yeah, hearts. Angels. Yeah. Other yeah. than like difficult babies <laughs> of our own. <laughs> and like. Yeah, like dogs only live like way shorter yeah. life compared to right. Us. Even even yesterday night, I met with my newlywed friends. Mm. They've only been married for like two years now. Mm. I hung out with them, mm. and I asked them, "Do you have any plans for babies?" And mm. they're like, "Not in the short term." They're mm. thinking of getting dogs, but not babies. Yeah. So actually, it is a bit of a red flag to me if I ask 
like uh, someone, especially mm. if I ask a guy, I'm like, do you like dogs? And they're like, no. I'm like, it is a red flag, yeah. I'm like, but why? Are yeah. you a psycho? Yeah, like, yeah, why? Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. a red flag, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, what is your reason? Mm -hmm. There's no reason <laughs> There is no reason. Unless like, you have allergies or you have yeah, PTSD that, of getting like the, bit by a dog. Yeah, that would be the only reason yeah. I would accept. But if they're just like, no, I just don't like dogs, I'd be like, that's a red flag. It is a red flag. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in, like, normal red flags people say. Yeah. <laughs> because that's judging a person yeah. by some thing but yeah. like hating dogs is like a for big, no reason i can understand that yeah. as a red flag yeah, yeah. it's like oh you're slightly psychotic or <laughs> yeah. you can prefer a cat over a dog yeah. but like just single handedly handedly hating I don't a dog, like dogs yeah that's weird flag. that's yeah. weird yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no not wanting a pet is not a red flag but like just a dog like the like not existence. liking a dog yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's weird mm. <laughs> mm. Wait, do we have any other stuff to talk about? Yeah, we have a bunch of other stuff oh, okay, to talk okay. about. Okay, so we have the next news prepared. Oh, this. So this is kind of weird. Can okay. you, yeah, please read, read out the, please read out the okay, so story. <laughs> apparently, apparently in Korea right now, the cash only trend is surging among Koreans. And this is very weird because, like, in this era, everybody's using, like, Apple Pay, like, Samsung Pay, digital, Nobody Bitcoin. Nobody uses cash. Yeah, nobody Physical uses cash. cash. I have not called, held cash in like years. Well, even now. if I have to go to an establishment, they say, uh, then I send them like bank transfer on my phone app immediately on the spot. Mm -hmm. That's like the way I would do it. Yeah. yeah, but like, okay, so the news, the essence of this news is that Koreans in their 20s and 30s in particular are going back to using physical cash over credit card and, and all that kind of stuff. And the reason behind that is because. To make a forcible habit among themselves, to uh, <clears throat> make more purchases, like, <clears throat> like you know, restrict their purchase, like, consumer behavior. They think if they use cash, they will be more, like, conscious of their spending? Yeah. I actually don't believe that. I believe that, because, like, with credit cards, you spend recklessly. No, I actually think I spend more recklessly if I have cash. No way. No, for me, yes. No way, you can just see no. it physically going out from no, your because hands. It's like, no, because it's like... When you have like a bunch of cash and then yeah. you just it's just like going out. Okay, uh, read the story and actually no. there's this thing called girl math that I will actually. Okay, okay this is a good thing. Girl yeah. math. Okay, so the 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 other part of the story is that people are making like these little cute diaries and mm. they're uh, taking track of like how much cash they use mm. per day mm. and then they're like, oh, I use this much on kimbap for lunch and you know all that kind of <laughs> stuff and they're trying to be very like strict with their spending mm. and and the 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 back reason of this whole story going viral is because like the economy is so bad people are just like you know mm. struggling with mm. cost and stuff like that mm -hmm. so yeah oh wait uh, and for, i'll read your super chat in a second but let me like test the guys this is like a thing on tiktok okay, okay. where people are like uh, explaining girl math to mm -hmm. guys so so uh, let me see what you also guys think about these kind of things okay. so so the thing with cash is, some people say, if I pay for it with cash, yeah. if I already had cash in my wallet and I pay for it, it was free because it never left my bank account. It's girl math. That's misogynistic. <laughs> They're saying, if I already had cash just in my bag, and then if I have to pay for something, it's just like, oh, okay. It didn't leave my bank account. The number didn't go down in my bank account. This so is it a was joke, free. right? It's, it's a joke, right? <laughs> yeah, obviously, it's, this is yeah. all fun, but yeah, this yeah. is like how girls calculate. They're saying this is girl That's math. misogynistic. That's the same <laughs> as like girls' tea, you know? <laughs> okay, that's... Like... Women tea, like, you know that... <laughs> but this is, yeah, it's just like a funny trend. It's like a blondie <laughs> yeah. kind of thing. Um, okay, so if I paid for a trip or concert tickets eight months in advance, by the time it actually happens, it's free. This is BS. It's, like, it's not even funny to me. Like, I don't know. Okay. If something that I usually buy is on sale and I don't buy it, then I'm actually losing money. <laughs> this one actually Some, makes sense. Sometimes this I feel like, sometimes this I feel like. Yeah, if you, that, this one actually makes sense to me. Yeah. If you're buying it usually all the yeah, time. Yeah, right, right, if you right. you don't buy it on sale, that you're losing money. That's true, money. that's true. You're losing money. Like, I, I try to like stack up. You know, like my essentials. Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, I drink zero Pepsi <laughs> yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. If I see like thirty packet, a thirty pack, a thirty can package yeah, yeah. of zero Pepsi on discount on coupon, 
I would say like it's a rational, you know. Yeah, if you don't buy it, then behavior. you're actually losing money. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that one's true. Uh, <laughs> Am I getting convinced? <laughs> okay, money that you spend abroad on holiday doesn't exist. It's like monopoly money. And obviously, when you're on holiday, you have to experience everything to make the price of the flight worth mm. it. So on holiday, you should not be scrimping, saving. You should just be... That also makes sense. It makes too. sense. Yeah, it makes of, sense. Yeah. On holiday, you can't just be like, oh, I'm counting pennies. This is one yeah, you're, on. you're going to be there only once. Yeah, you know? it's FOMO. Like, why did you go on holiday for? If, right, if you, right. If you just not going to spend money, you might as well just stay at home. Okay. Yeah, so it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> um, when you go and make a purchase, like on online, like on mobile, whatever, and the money is coming out of your Kakao account, the money that was already in your Kakao mm. account, and there was already some money in there, yeah. that, that basically means the purchase was free. <laughs> I kind of feel like that sometimes <laughs> it's true. too. Yeah, yeah. For the US, it's like if you had it in your Venmo or whatever, PayPal or right, whatever, right, right, if the right, money right, was right. already there and you have to make a purchase, it didn't come out of your bank account, that purchase was free. Right, right, right. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes too, because yeah. I usually forget about that money. Yeah. <laughs> And then it's like, oh, it was already. I feel there. so good spending. Yeah. It. Like, oh, I used it. You know. My bank account number didn't go down. Yeah. yeah. So that makes sense to me too. I just used girl math, says people. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh it makes sense. Yeah. People are saying, ha ha, so true. <laughs> um, okay. Um, yeah. If I eat food that's already in the house, it's free. Mm. If I didn't order delivery or go out and spend money, then yeah, that's. <laughs> That's that's good. <laughs> that's free. <laughs> is this like a recent trend? It, yeah, or it's a trend. It's like it's been a trend. Like this is like the reflection of how people are struggling economically right now. <laughs> They're gaslighting and you know you know making themselves think this this BS is true to re escape from reality. Yeah, like. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, and if you find like fifty dollars in a coat pocket from like a year ago, you literally just made. $50. That's kind of true, it's too. True. Because you wouldn't have found it. Yeah. And, you know, you would have just lost it. Yeah. You would have yeah. just, yeah. Um, this is this is ep it, the epitome of girl math. Okay. On a day out, and I'm super tired, but I didn't buy a coffee, then I actually made money that day. I agree. <laughs> I agree in that, too. Oh, my God. Why am I agreeing yeah, to see, everything? Girl math makes sense. Uh, it makes sense. Why am I agreeing to this? <laughs> And this is, I'm not really finance related, but this is kind of like girl coded. So you won't relate to this, but girls in the chat, okay. see if you relate to this. Okay. So girls, we wear sports bras when we go work out, uh -huh. especially for running because it's slightly more compression, right? Yeah. If you go and wear a sports bra, and but you haven't like um, sweated in it, yeah. then that's clean, right? Yeah. Because if you, if you haven't sweated it, that is clean, so yeah. that's clean. But if you go out, uh, and you go to work out, and you sweat in it once, then that's dirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But on our normal bras that we wear on a daily mm -hmm. basis, mm -hmm. you can wear it once, and that's clean, right? You can wear it, but you can wear that same like just normal bra several, several times, mm -hmm. and it's still clean. This is girl math. You only wear even if you like do activities or whatever in it, go like normal bras. You if only you don't wash. Sweat? You only wash like maybe twice a month. Do you actually do that? The thing is, you're not because you wouldn't know this because you're not a girl. You're not actually supposed to wash your bras that that often because okay. it like the underwire and like it ruins the shape and the thing. So I would guess like unless you sweat, like there's no reason to wash. Yeah, it, right? but they're just saying this is a difference between like a sports bra and like a normal bra. Girls in the chat, you'll understand what I'm saying. He doesn't. Mm, I I have no idea. Obviously, <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give away all the secrets. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this secret? Like. Have a bra on, like, oh, I can't, I don't have to wash it today. <laughs> bra math, exactly, bra math. Bra math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was all. Yeah. But, all girl math. Yeah, but I, I'm, it, it's, I think it's just, like, going back to the news, I think it's just a little sad that people are kind of, you know, doing this kind of challenge. It's called the cash-only challenge, and mm. they even made a hashtag of it. Mm. And, you know, it's cute and all, but still, it's kind of... I can't be bothered dealing with c cash and coins and change. Mm. No. I, I once read from, like, a nice, like, finance advisory book that the best way to be smart with your finance is just to literally take out your credit card right now and chop it in half. Why? 
Because credit cards are the, the source of evil in your finances. How are you going to build credit if you don't use credit cards? How you do don't you need credit. You just you use need, debit. You need credit. You just use debit. No, you need credit to build up your credit card that's what, score. That's what the capitalist society gaslights you. How are you going to get uh, like loans? And I mean, of course, if you're going to get loans for like houses and like big yeah, stuff. Yeah. But like credit cards, if you think about it, you're buying stuff that isn't really essential to your life. And just no, because you have a credit card. I never use my debit. Card. I always pay everything with my credit card. But I always pay back everything. But, like, mostly. apparently if you want to save up money and be a smart consumer, you should only use debit card. That and is not true. Because, because, guys, because do you agree you, with this? Because you need to plan out. You need to plan out your spendings and all that kind of stuff. And you, it makes you a more frugal person. Yeah. No, I mean, because, you can still use credit cards and, like, uh, plan out all your spending and be frugal. But normal people don't have that much, like, self you know, resisting power. Also, I think this is different. One thing that's different, I know you, you guys have like the Klarna, the platform in the US now mm. where you can um, pay for stuff in installments. Yeah. In Korea, this has always been the case. So um, if I'm paying for like a bag, for example, a designer bag, yeah. you always have the option to pay in like 12 month installments. This has always been the case in Korea. Mm. I know people in, when I was in the UK, you did not have this option. Mm. So it's either you pay like you pay for a purchase in, on your credit card, but then you have to all pay it back like the next month. Mm. There's no twelve month installment mm. thing. I know Klarna is like the rise of Klarna. Everyone's doing that more now. Mm -hmm. But in Korea, this has always been the case. So that's always been the slightly different. Mm -hmm. So also, um, why people in Korea can buy designer purchases yeah. because there is this installment system, whereas you guys would be like, how can you make this such big purchase mm -hmm. and you have to pay all. Yeah, back the next month. That's impossible. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, but in Korea, this has always been the case. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like normally, <laughs> like if you look at people, like going back to like the luxury craze in Korea, mm. a lot of people buy like Chanel bags mm. and like expensive stuff with 12 month, you know, credit mm. plans and stuff. Mm. And they couldn't buy that if they didn't have a credit card, the existence of a credit card. Mm, yeah. So, like, yeah. essentially, like, it's like girl math, yeah, too. Girl math. They would be saving, like, thousands of dollars yeah. because they're unable to buy a Chanel bag mm -hmm. without a credit card. Mm -hmm. And then they're into debt. They yeah, need to yeah. pay back, like, you know, a couple hundred dollars every single month. Mm -hmm. And then you, you're kind of losing on, like, your essentials, like, yeah. your food and all that kind of stuff. So. I, but I never buy anything on my credit card that I can't pay for it outright in cash. Mm, I but, never. But most of the people out there people that, do. that yeah. don't have financial, you know, education yeah, or, yeah. like, that has weak, you know, yeah, willpower. Yeah, yeah, weak willpower. Like, yeah. if you give them a credit card, it's, like, a big, big yeah, problem for I would, them. Yeah, I have noticed that, yeah. People are like, okay, no, this, yes, this is a big purchase, but I'm going to, like, really hustle and, like, really slave away now. Yeah, yeah. This is be my motivation. But I'm just like, no, I, if I can't pay for it outright in cash right now, right. I won't buy it. Yeah, then might as well have a debit card. <laughs> that's it no but it helps you <laughs> credit cards you can have use for points and you build points for stuff and it like does build your credit score if you pay the back if you pay back the like debt, what have you used for credits what have you used your credit score for in your life like so if far? i want to get like tetra for tons have you ever got it before no but it's, i'm going <laughs> to get up to the point where if i need to use it then it's good you can get you can get loans and mortgages Guys, no, i really disagree with what he's saying credit cards can be useful it is good to, if you you're responsible with the debt and you pay it back every month and they look upon that favor. I guess, I guess. Like sometimes, like in... Just essential... saying to use debit, I think this is not good financial advice. No. I mean, it was from like a person. No, no, whatever, no you have to use credit cards, but responsibly. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I guess yeah. that would have its advantages. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you can manage just going on with debit, that would be good too. Yeah, people say, agree with Anna, 100%. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I use credit cards like so. Last last month, I used like four thousand dollars on credit card, mm. and then I uh, had to work my ass off to pay that. <laughs> pay that, and if I didn't have a credit card, mm. if I only had my debit card, then I wouldn't have spent that much. Why did you, what did you spend it on? Just stuff. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's the this is the normal person. It's like, <coughs> oh, I can work harder next month. Like my paycheck is coming in two weeks, oh. so I have like a little bit of a window, like you know, and then I just like go to a restaurant. Oh, oh it's like a couple hundred dollars. Like, oh. yeah, they just like use, use, use. Mm. So no, I don't, I don't pay for stuff unless I can. I'm, I know I'm good for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that girl math was fun. Is yeah. there anything equivalent like boy math? Boy math. I know one boy math. What? If a guy in Korea says he's like 176 centimeters, it means he's actually like 172. 
<laughs> this is actual real boy man. Guy saying he's six foot, he's actually five foot ten, five foot nine. Yeah. This is the absolute truth. If he's 178, he'll say he's 180. Yeah. Yeah. This is just facts. Yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll count his, like, Dr. Martin's, like, boot, <laughs> you know, length and height. And add that up into his height. Yep. So, boy math exists, too. Mm. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I think I have, like, two more. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, so, oh, oh, this is about money too. Okay, we're it's going all in It's a money chat mon today. I mean, I like talking about money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. How long do you need to work to buy a home in Seoul? How how, how long do you think you need to Your work? Your entire lifetime. Your entire normal. lifetime? <laughs> for a normal... Like, let's say you can save 100% of your Sorry. monthly earnings. What are you earning? As an average Something more employee in Seoul. Like, you know, like you would... Earn probably like three thousand to four thousand. That's even a lot. Like mm. three thousand. Let's say three thousand mm -hmm. dollars. How long do you think it would take? How many years to buy a house in Seoul? Where in Seoul? Like average house. Like it's not even bougie. Just you know, an average apartment house. Like Shibo. Yeah, let's say Shibo. Shibo yeah. Don't do the math. It's like <laughs> there's no use. Like if you calculate it, like you have to be in stick. Like. <coughs> Let's say like fifty years. Fifty years. Yeah. Fifty years. Okay. Like okay. So this article calculated that. Oops. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> so a Seoul resident would have to not spend a single dime of their income for fifteen point mm. two years to buy a home in South Korea's capital, and um, yeah. So it's the answer if, is fifteen point two. And, and not spend anything. Not spend anything. Yeah. So, <laughs> normally, how much do you save up, like, from your salary? I like, mean, it depends percentage. each month, but um, I try to do at least, like, half. half? Wow, yeah. that's a lot. So, like, what I've seen from a lot of mm. YouTube channels is, like, the golden rule is if you're a wise mm. spender and saver, then at least 40% of mm. your income should be saved. Mm. And then, according to that... If you save 40% of your mm. income, and if you're the average worker to buy an average home in Seoul, mm. then it would take you 35 years, mm. something like that, mm. to buy a house. So mm. that's crazy, isn't it? But this is, like, people are saying, yeah, it takes 30 years for most Americans to pay off a house. It's They get mortgages, right? Yeah, they get yeah. mortgages. They get, like, 30-year mortgages yeah. with, like, very low interest rates. Mm. But that's not the case for Koreans. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have, like extremely long mortgages nowadays yeah. there are for like certain government mm. housing mm. but for just for normal housing we don't have those plans so mm. it's very very hard mm -hmm. and those mortgages were the reasons that the subprime like whole crisis mm. subprime mortgage crisis happened so mm. like it's very dangerous too mm -hmm. yeah so it, well every every week this all this news is so depressing you can't buy a house nobody getting married yeah it's, uh, <laughs> Do you think... And, like, my... Mm. I really do want, like... I'm turning 30 in the upcoming year. Yeah. So, it's like, I really do want to find that person that I can really grow something with now. Uh -huh. And, like, the, the topic of, like, marriage and, like, all this stuff is, like, really on the forefront of my mind. Yeah. I'm sure for you, too, as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Anytime I talk, like, meet with my friends recently, this is, like, what we talk about. Mm -hmm. Yesterday night, I was <laughs> hanging out my, with my married friends. Yeah. They all bought houses. Mm -hmm. And they turned out to be really well... Good investments because... All housing in Korea probably like Throws went up. up. up yeah. yeah, so I was kind of like, wow, that's nice, mm -hmm. you know. But then they gave me a different perspective. Like mm -hmm. people like us that are freelancers mm -hmm. and like sometimes typically have bigger incomes than like, mm -hmm. um, average you know, salary. average salarymen. Yeah. Um, the reason they choose real estate is because their salary gap is just like, just concrete. It's yeah, it doesn't grow. fluctuate, yeah, never goes yeah, up. Yeah. So the only investment they can actually make is like a very stable real yes. estate and like their own house they live in. Yeah. But for us, actually, the, the my friends recommended like don't go into real estate, don't buy a house. If I were you, I would just go into like the stock markets or like a, a more like financial, mm. like the, 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 what do you call it? Volatile. Like the, not like a volatile market, but because we have liquidity. Mm. They don't have liquidity. Mm. They, they just like put all their savings into like a this house safe. and it's safe. Yeah. But for us, you know, 
we can we can pull out the money whenever back and forth mm. and then if you just invest in like the right stuff like the mm. S&P 500 or mm. like Nasdaq market mm. it only went up for like 100 years right mm. so like if it goes down like you you're just like the unluckiest person in the world mm. so if you put it in like the stock market <coughs> you can pull it out whenever like you can chop it into half like, you can invest it in other stuff you can get interest rates mm. so like they were like if i were in your shoes i would not buy a house and i would just like invest in like the american stock market and then mm. that would be better mm -hmm. returns so that was a very fresh re um approach, approach yeah. yeah ross thank you for joining the membership welcome um uh, how long is the average mortgage in Korea, David? Mortgage? So we don't have that much of those plans. No. Yeah, we don't. They only recently started coming mm. out for like a specific demographic too. Mm. Like only people in their early 20s to 30s mm. that don't have a house and their income is below like $3,000. Mm. And you need to be in a certain tier or bracket. Mm. And then if you qualify for that, you can get like a mortgage for like 15 years, I think, with an interest rate of like, like maybe one to 2%, mm. very low interest rate. But you can only buy houses that are designated by the government too. So it's not money options. But everyone in America can apply for a mortgage. I right? think so. Like, it's UK, very it easy like to get that. a mortgage. Yeah, in the yeah. UK, it was like that too. Yeah. Um, Anna, 30. Oh my gosh, she old. <laughs> Lol. I'm born in 1994, so I know I look younger. <laughs> yeah. Um, David and Anna should get married and make a family channel. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yesterday, this is like hot news. Um, because the government is like so, you know, anxious about like the population right, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They're giving so many benefits to like married couples and babies. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, they put out a new effective law that about people that live together yeah yeah, yeah. right 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 so people that live together mm -hmm. have same rights as like a married couple mm. so that's good that's good for them so they can get so loans even just roommates yeah does it have to be uh, like different sex or can it be same sex i don't think it's apl applicable yeah, it's to same roommates. sex yeah, yeah it's yeah. just like like you have to be like in a relationship, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you prove that. I think how do you prove? A that? lot of people are just gonna, you know, use it. Yeah. But you I and don't me, know. let's just do this deal. Let's live together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Benefits. Might as well, you know. Yeah. We should like just, <laughs> you know. Yeah, like do the content house, like we said. <laughs> uh huh. And then say we're living together. We're looking for a marriage and get all the benefits. Like, there's a lot of benefits if you're a married couple in Korea. I want to actually, yeah, look this up. Like, you can get so ahead in like the lottery for mm. housing and stuff. Mm. You can get loans, everything. Mm. Yeah. Um, Anna, are you getting pressure from your family to marry? No, my dad gives me absolutely no pressure. In fact, he's like, actually, you can just live on. He was like, you don't need to get married. What about your grandparents? No, my grandma doesn't care. Either. Really? Yeah, she doesn't care. Oh, you're blessed. Yeah. Uh, grandparents are usually like... Is it different for maybe boys? Maybe. I guess it's case by case. Mm. But for boys, I think there's more pressure because you are the bloodline of the family. Yeah. You need to inherit your, you know... Yeah, ancestors. I mean, the hangout guy that was mm. hanging out yesterday, he's the only son. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, the only son too. Oh, yeah, and like his parents are like, they have big business. So yeah. they're like, oh, okay, your your spouse needs to be ready right. to vet them. Right. That's why, also, yeah, the parents have so much say in the marriage. Mm -hmm. If they if they say, no, we don't like your the girl that you brought, it's yeah. a no. The so marriage is off. in Korea, like, you know, I don't know how to explain this. Is hyo? <coughs> What's um, hyo? Giving back to your like parents, looking after them, like, like the... respecting your parents and elders. Yeah, and... respecting their wishes. Yeah, that's yeah. called hyo. It's like a Chinese character. Yeah. It's like a, a pillar of Confucianism. Yeah. So that's why we look up to our elders and respect them so much. Yeah. Show manners and yeah. stuff. But sometimes that can be used as like gaslighting. Uh oh. Because, like, nowadays, I feel that. Mm. Because my grandparents and mm. my grandma, they mm. always say, like, oh, I'm, like, 90 years old now. I'm going to die <laughs> soon. But when can I see my grandson? <coughs> so, like, if I don't deliver a grandson, I'm, like, being a... Disrespectful. Disrespectful grand, uh, grandson. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, their their great-grandson or whatever. Mm. Yeah, I'm being a disrespectful great-grandson mm. that doesn't grant their parent... Uh, their mm. Grand, his grandparents' mm. death wish, mm. you know? Oh, my only wish is to see a grandson before I die. Mm -mm. And they're, like, gaslighting me with death. Mm -mm. Like, how can I... It's how, a bit extreme. <laughs> you know, like, you know, oh, I, I, re I really want to see a grandson before I die. 
Like, how am I gonna deal with that? You know, like I can't say anything to it. It's the it's ultimate just, card. It's slightly extreme. <laughs> you have to deal with that. Yeah. Oh my Wait, god. I forgot to read my super chat from earlier from okay. friend. Hi Anna. First, merry late Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Quick question: The April skin can it work for men too? I thought I would try that product to get rid of blackheads off my face. Take care, Anna. Stay strong. Oh, on my Instagram, I did an ad for like an April skin uh, cleansing balm. Yes, it works for men too because it just melts away blackheads. So rub, rub, rub. Do you have blackheads? I mean, everyone, yeah, has, black <laughs> everyone has blackheads. But yes, that does. It's unisex, works for men. Thank you for the $25. Uh, that was another one. Thank you again, Patrick. You're so kind. All right, Anna, um, for us aspiring chat boys, what does a man need to be to be an eligible bachelor for your best girlfriend? What would be good for your girls? Or What's like, an eligible bachelor? Eligible bachelor. They're just saying well, like, what would make a good husband material, uh, I guess. Um, yeah, people who are like financially like uh, like well knowledge. People who are just like irresponsible. Obviously, yeah. you don't want that as your husband. Yeah. Um, people who are like not too short sighted because like can look into the future. Um, obviously, like if you're like kind and well mannered, and if you if you're if you're fun to be around, I think that's also really important for me now. Mm. More more so than um, like when I was like in my early twenties, I didn't really that care cared that much if the guy was funny but now it's like really important to me if the guy is he's nice and decent but also it's just like not when i'm mm. like when i'm with the guy it's just like not all that like enjoyable or like fun that mm. i'm just like i do get a bit like mm. but that's not like a, the biggest thing but um yeah people who will just look after themselves well like in terms of their health as well that's important because you want to live your life with this person yeah all of this what i what i've heard from a lot of like my girlfriends like a, a husband material nowadays is whether you side on her during like the parental disputes. Oh, this is kind of unique to Korea, I feel like. Yeah, like you, be, be, maybe a man just... that stands by her, his, his wife's mm. side rather than his mom's side. Yeah, if he's too like much a... of a mommy's boy, then yeah. I think a lot of girls do have like an issue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday I heard an incident about like my friend's family. Um, so he has a wife. Yes. And he has a mom, right? Yes. And they were invited, like, at a family gathering. Mm -hmm. And the mom was constantly saying, like, so are you, I don't, I don't, I didn't really understand, but okay, like, yeah. be the judge. The mom was saying, like, okay, are you, like, preparing yourself for birth? Like, are you, are you taking care of your body? To the, to the girl. Yeah, and yeah. then, like, you know... Like, do you have any plans for a baby mm. and all that kind of stuff? She was asking all that. Mm. And then apparently the wife was really pissed off with that mm. because she was like, why is she even asking me this kind of stuff? It's very disrespectful. Like, mm. I'm really offended. It's feeling very pressured. Like, I, mm. I wish, yeah. like, she would not, like, trespass into, like, our, you know, areas and stuff. Like, I will when I will. And, you know, mm. it feels very, like, pressuring when the mom, like, the mother, mother-in-law, mm. like, ask, ask you that. Mm. And then the guy said to his his wife, mm. I think it's just like a valid, you know, mm. it, it, it is like a valid question mm. like a mother-in-law can ask to mm. his wife, mm. her wife, mm. you know? Like, it's not something outrageous or mm. anything. Mm. But then the wife got super mad. Mm. Like, why aren't you taking my side? Like, mm. I said it's emotionally so pressuring for me, mm. and I don't want to hear that kind of stuff. Mm. And then the husband was like, but I literally think... Like, your mother, mm. the mother-in-law has, you know, if she has interest in you, she, it's like a genuine question you can ask. Mm, mm, mm. And then... Okay, the situ is situational. So, it has this, was this that one time where, the only one time where the mother-in-law was like, okay, I, how are you doing? Like, are you looking after your Yeah, mother? it was a one time, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't like consistent. Uh, it like, wasn't consistent, yeah. Okay, also, have they been trying for a baby for some time and it's like no. quite stressful for no. her? No. Okay, it was just it's just they don't have thing. plans for a baby. Yeah. Oh, they don't have plans for yeah, a baby. Any plans? Oh, so it was just right like now. dinner. Like, are you like looking after yeah, yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't get offended at that. Right? Like, yeah. Like I kind of, I was like kind of like I think a mother-in-law can say that much at mm. least. If it's constant, if she's like calling her up every day, I'd be like, okay, no, go away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, every right. single time, like, oh, yeah. are you are you yeah, like yeah. planning babies? That, that is stressful. Yeah, that is stressful I, yeah. for sure. But yeah. like, it wasn't consistent from what I heard. Oh. And, um, yeah, they don't have any plans for a baby, but, like, mm. I th I don't know, like, I guess the wife thought it was, like, intrusion, intrusion of, like, personal, like, 
per perspective or like boundaries or whatever. And she was like, it's kind of a shaming, like embarrassing for like a mother-in-law to ask that kind of stuff. I don't know. I think it's, she might be, yeah, different personalities, isn't it? Like I don't, for me, I wouldn't get offended at this, but yeah, yeah so overly emotional people times <laughs> might. But this is like the kind of talks you need to have before, um, within yourselves as a couple before you go out with your family it's yeah, like yeah. what's what's okay what's not okay you actually need to talk about this stuff mm. what do you think of this okay <laughs> if you get married during chuseok and like thanksgiving holidays mm. normally traditionally you go to the the guys family mm. gathering right mm. and then the the wife's family <coughs> gathering you either skip or you go afterwards mm. but nowadays like among younger couples yeah. the wives are having an out like an uprising and they're like this is not fair this mm. is misogynistic mm. our families are equal mm. so you go to your family first and next year we go to our family first and we go to both families mm. every single holiday mm. so what do you think about this do you think it's like a huge matter in like going to which family first I don't, to me, I don't really care. You don't really care? Also, my, my cousin, she's married. She also doesn't bring um, my home, like her husband, I guess. He, she doesn't bring him to all of our family events. Okay. Because sometimes she's like, we don't need to do everything together. Yeah. Sometimes uh, he wants to have his alone time. And sometimes I don't need to go attend all of his family gatherings either. They have this like agreement that we don't need to do absolutely everything yeah. together. So I think that's actually... But well, what if you had to go to their family gathering? Yeah. And then... Like you, you had to skip yours. Mm. So they're like during Thanksgiving, it's either like you know the family gatherings happening at the same time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go to the husbands, mm. but you have to skip your families, and I mean, you can't I, see your parents. I think that's what happens though most of the time. It, that's guys? what happens. Oh. That's what happens traditionally. Oh. But nowadays, oh. the women aren't putting up for that. Oh. They're like. You know, this is BS. Like, this is unfair. I need to go to my family gathering. Uh, my parents are, you know, mm. precious to me too. So, like, if mm. you're going to see your parents, I'm going to see my parents too. So, mm. like, let's go to your parents in the morning and the evening, let's go to ours. But that's mm. now how it's traditionally done, right? Like, usually mm. just go to the par the husband's parents. Mm. So, wh what do you think on this? Like, what would I don't you know. Do? If I had to do that, then obviously I would go to, and the kids as well, take to the, the husband's family. Yeah. And then after we come back, I'll be like, look after the kids. I want to go see my family. This is the, <laughs> you don't need to come, but just look after the kids. I want to go mm. and see them. Well, wouldn't you require your husband to go to your family side too? I mean, yeah, if, yeah, but it's like, can you do it two hours on the same day? I don't know, this is too much headache, but I don't even... That's it's marriage! Not even, like, reality that is, I don't even want to think about right now. <laughs> Wait, let me, I read some super chats. Uh, thank you, everyone, hates Joy. It's not valid. I need women to know that, women to know that I know. What? What does that mean? It's not valid, what? Well, Um, doll baby says we can you hear now sound gone is it is it good now wait one sec it should be it good now no hello i think it's going out the audio yeah so. it's fine now right i'm using micro yes sounds, sounds good. good okay 
Yeah, okay, we won't stream for much longer. Sorry, my camera battery died halfway through. So I'm using my MacBook camera now. <clears throat> you had another super chat, I think. Oh, yes. I had to read that one. Let me just go back. Thank you, Shireen, for the $10. I know the Korean culture is different, but how many couples live together and have children without getting married? Just curious. How many people live together? Mm -hmm. How many people live together? Without, uh, have children without getting married? Not as no, common. No, no, no. Yeah, basically zero, really, I think. Yeah, unless it's like by accident. Or, yeah, yeah. But it's not like um, yeah, it's not as yeah. It's still old fashioned here, and people still want to wait till marriage to have kids. Of course. Yeah, yeah. that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, shall we go to our last news? Yes, yes. So the last news. Oh, this is good news. Okay, before we go, Patrick. Here's 10 for not blowing your stream up before they <laughs> Yes. I'm sorry. I love Patrick and Ross. <laughs> My favorite names. Um, okay, so this is the last news. It's kind of a good news, I think. So, Korea finally bans cafes exhibiting exotic animals. Yeah. I think this was, well, very Overdue. needed. Overdue. Overdue, yeah. exactly. Have you been to one of these? No, not in Korea. I've been to a dog cafe. A dog cafe. Yeah. Those aren't like... They're oh, not exti Like, those are fine. Were the dogs owned by the cafe or were they like from No, you go people? and... Yeah, they have some dogs, but then people bring like and just have drinks there with their own mm. pets. Okay, I think like, that's okay. That's fine, yeah. Yeah. But like, we're specifically talking about raccoon cafes. What other animals? Like lamb cafes. Yeah. And what else? Like... Exotic animals. Iguana right? cafes or whatever. Mm. Like squirrel cafes. So, yeah, like the, a ban on the operation of exotic animal cafes mm. where people can see, touch, and interact with the animals, which is a big problem, I see, mm -hmm. I think. It's like mm. stress for them. Um, it, a ban is beginning to start. The, um, it was, it's already like banned now. So they're like given like a, mm. what do you call it, a probation period yeah. up to like a cer certain years yeah. or certain months. And these cafes have to like shut down their operations. Oh. So I kind of feel bad for the business owners. Mm. But, you know, in the first place, it was not a very good thing to do. They exist all over Japan as well. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. All over. Yeah. I mean, like, so dog cafes, cat cafe, cafes, they're saying it's fine. Mm. But they're not exotic animals. But, like, mm. exotic animals, like raccoons and wild stuff animals. that should be in the wild. Yeah. They're saying, yeah, no, get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there are some wild, yeah. like, wild animal cafes in Korea. Mm. I, I don't even remember. Yisek? Mm. To be honest, I I only like going to like the domestic like cat cafes or dog cafes. Uh -huh. I, I usually only like those really. Right. Yeah. So there are kangaroo cafes. Oh, oh my gosh. There are Have meerkat you... cafes. Yeah, meerkat cafes are really. Have you ever seen a uh, adult kangaroo yeah, fully yeah. stand yeah. on its hind legs? It's, it's scary. actually the most terrifying it's thing scary, ever. Yeah. They're jacked. They're muscly. They I can. Know. <laughs> if they kick you, it's over. It's right. over. How, why would you get into a situation that a kangaroo, adult <laughs> kangaroo, kicks you? I saw videos on like of Australia, uh, and it's like, oh my god, it's actually terrifying. Yeah, it is terrifying. Sith BK, thank you for the ten dollars. Anna's outfit is cute. Oh, is it? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so they're given a four-year probation period mm. to shut down their operation. Are rabbits considered wild? I think they. They're like domestic. I, they can be pets. Yeah, they're domesticated pets. Yeah, but. Mm. I think it was overdue. I think it's a good thing to do now. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> raccoons are trash pandas? What? what does that even mean? Yeah, Australia seems to be a wild place to live. It I've is. seen videos and it's just like, I don't think I could live there. Wait, my, my stream is down? I think it's, oh, it's not? I don't know. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Rabbits are not exotic. Yeah. So, yeah, we haven't been unethical consumers. Like, you haven't been to one. I haven't been nope. to one. No. But I see a lot of, like, um, people coming to Korea. And on their bucket list is, it's, like, go to, like, a sheep cafe or, like, a mm. raccoon cafe and stuff like that. Mm. So Well, they're not going to be existing no more. But you can still go to a cat cafe or mm. a dog cafe. Oh, my gosh. So, um, I went to Myeongdong mm. last week because, actually, uh... A subscriber of me and you. She's been a DK DK TV fan for years. Her yeah. name is Amanda. Yeah, Amanda. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recognize that. So name. she's in Seoul right now. Mm -hmm. So I had dinner with her. And then we, I took her out to Myeongdong. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it was busy. 
Myeongdong. It was just around yeah. Christmas time. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. I, <laughs> Why would you go to Myeongdong in Christmas time? Like, because you, I mean, we like, know the, better. Because she's vegan, so uh-huh. like, like we went to a vegan place that was in Myeongdong, okay. and then also I was like, I was, I might as well just show you around a bit. Okay, okay. And like, and it was like the Chris getting it. Cause Myeongdong is the most Christmassy spirit. Mm-hmm. They have with the most decorations and stuff. Yeah. And I was after like walking around a bit, I was like, oh my god, I'm exhausted. Mm. Exhausted. <laughs> yeah. But there's animal cafes exist in Myeongdong. Yeah, Myeongdong. In Hongdae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, the most exotic one I've been to was a capybara cafe. Capybara. In New York, it? there's rat rat cafes. What is that? Just not called the subway. <laughs> <laughs> the subway. Um, rare restaurants and rat sub. Oh, you are making oh, a joke. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's not sanitary. Yeah, like you know, and also it's very stressful for the animals and. Like if you even go to like the dog ones, there's like poop everywhere. There's like fur everywhere. It's like I don't mm. really like those environments. Yeah. But you know, there's dog parks if you live in California where people like dogs can really socialize. Mm. In Korea, dogs are not social. Yeah. They're really isolated. Yeah. This is the even the dog master of Korea. He says this. Mm. You know. Kang Young Woo. Kang Young Woo. He mm. says this. So, it's sad. I feel bad for the doggers here. Really. Right. Yeah. Nicole, thank you for the ten dollars. I didn't want you to feel left out. Thank you. <laughs> Pizza and sit BK. Oh, 007. Aloha, mm. David. Super chat. So you don't feel left out. <laughs> Everyone's just sending super chats because uh, out Aww. of pity. Oh no. Well, he'll take the pity. I will take the pity. <laughs> thank you for the five dollars. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, another pity, <laughs> pity super chat. No, stop, baby. Raccoon, he in your trash can overhear. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you for that. Whatever that was, but he's thankful. I've yeah. seen videos of raccoons, like, digging in trash cans in the U.S., mm. like, in front of, like, lawns and stuff. Mm. Yeah, raccoons kind of look scary to me, honestly. Wild raccoons. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you, guys. For yeah, thank you, everybody, for live. joining. How long have we Hopefully done? Hopefully, I'll be... Like we we'll turn, we start like ten something. We can still go for a little bit more, or uh, uh, we started uh, just after ten. We were a bit late. Just after ten. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we did like one and one fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just uh make it two and then end. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So upcoming year January mm. is very soon. So any plans? Any New Year's resolutions? Like I said, I I definitely want like to find someone to. <laughs> I did seriously. It's not like okay. it's not even a joke anymore. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like for real, and I'm sure you as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you as well. Yeah. Ask your questions, guys. For the in the meantime, like we <laughs> will we'll stream like <coughs> five to ten more minutes and go get lunch. <laughs> twenty twenty four is the year of the dragon. What what? I'm animal the year are you? of the dog. You're the dog. Yeah, doggo. Okay. Yeah, what I'm the you? monkey. <laughs> I'm the <a> monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong with the monkey? <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Monkeys are smart. Are they? They, yeah. they are. They are. Monkeys are smart. Yeah, they're on the smart end of the animal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else wanted to talk about? Plans for New Year celebrations. I'm probably gonna party with my friends. Um, girls night out mm. or girls night in depending isn't it kind of exhausting to party yeah but honestly I haven't been partying much at all recently at all yeah I've noticed that yeah recently at all I yeah. like in the summer yes but it, also in the winter you can't be bothered to go out with like wrapped in layers and coats and it's just a hassle yeah yeah I've never seen the um, fun in partying it's <laughs> He's just, just not. It's me. not. Yeah. I just don't it. see the fun in like. Woo! <laughs> no. Woo! What is this? Like, what are you doing? That's ED. I don't like clubs like this either. But usually, when I go out with Subini and all our other friends, we're usually into the same music, okay. like rap, uh, like R and B, like, and then we all, we know the lyrics to all the songs, so we're like singing along and like it's really fun for us. Yeah, you're just not with the yeah, right I, crowd. I respect that, but you're personally... You're not with the right I, crowd. No, personally, like, I've been with wild crowds, but I'm just like, is that fun? No, I hate, like, songs that have no lyrics. It's just like, ooms, ooms, ooms. I'm like, this is not fun. No, okay. <laughs> this is not fun. Okay. Brenda, <laughs> thank you for the $20. The hippopotamus. Wow, epic fail. What? What is the epic <laughs> fail? <laughs> okay, thank you for the $20. Yeah. Uh... 
What do you want for lunch? You both seem compatible, Anna. Marry David and have three kids. Oh, no. then we could get three thousand dollars every <laughs> single month and could get probably a nice house. And it's already transactional. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, you can freeze your eggs. I can go to a sperm bank and then we can incubate them <laughs> like, artificially. At the... But guys, I'm really legit thinking about like freezing my eggs. You should. Yeah. There's no reason. Has not anyone to. in the chat done that? Like, I'm like still 29. I'm turning 30 in May of the upcoming year. But like, they say if you really want to do that, it's best to get that done like as early as possible. Mm. Mm. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Jarrell, I'm too old for this party stuff. I feel you. But it's not because you're old. You know, you're just not a party person. You yeah, don't yeah. you don't see the fun. You don't have to be yeah, you don't have to like all the other stuff. And yeah. like you know, he's David's definitely an introvert at heart, yeah. for sure. And I'm more I need the other people's energy mm -hmm. and I'm usually the life of the party kind of thing. Thank you, Patrick, again. Um, burning question. I'm an ESFJ. <laughs> what impression does that give me in Korea? Would you say that's a common MBTI or rare? I know it's for fun, but I'm curious. ESFJ, so you're extrovert, and you're also kind of realist, but you're emotional, but you're um, a planner type. Isn't that the worst type to date? ESFJ? No, no. I saw recently. Worse. No, 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 they are way worse. Okay, no, go no. on, go on. I would on. say that's a good personality. You're pretty fun. But you're also like emotionally like your empath as well. Uh -huh. I think ESFJ is a good, a uh, good um, personality. Uh huh. The worst is um ISTP. Is it? Yeah, it's like Pang Myung Soo's Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I saw like a. Recent also, I hear a lot of people. What David's ex MBTI used to be INFP. I hear. I also see many people don't like this personality. Uh, oh, oh wait. So like the most <laughs> unpopular is on ISTP. IS, any ISTPs in the chat? Yeah. So yeah, I saw this recent like. Mm. Mm. But I mean, I've I've met one recently, and like as because I'm so T as well. Like yeah. I actually think I really understand them. They're just like completely. They don't have any other double side to them. Mm. They just are other as you see them. Mm. Exactly the same person. No like fakeness. Mm. They're very simple and just blunt. They might not say much, yeah. but I can see that they're very like like if they're decent, they're mm. like just decent people. That's like yeah yeah yeah. I think they're like level headed. Yeah, you know? very level, very stoic, mm. which I like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here comes the stoicism. I I was wondering <laughs> where that went. Like you know, it reminds me of like last year. I think she was like going on forever. When Fatin was like, here. Like be stoic, you know. <laughs> I like stoic people. People who are not overly emotional at everything. Like if especially like when we're talking about like the, the wife getting emotional at that yeah. kind of thing. You have to in life if you get like upset over everything you're gonna just burn yourself out mm -hmm. you have to learn to just let go of the stuff that doesn't really matter and just like okay that's true let it go let it go that's true let tito go. white pass thank you for the ten dollars happy new year to you both yay year of the dragon it'll be dollars, a dollars year go tesla yes. <laughs> i don't have any stocks in tesla personally though is it tesla doing well the stock but probably probably yeah it goes yeah. very up because Depending on Elon as well. Yeah, it's they're like making like down. humanoid, you know, robots and stuff. Oh. So, yeah. But uh, someone, oh, like about my New Year end plans. Um, I'm going to like the 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 bell ringing oh. the event with mm. the mayor. I've oh. been I've been hanging out with the mayor a lot. Recently. I saw on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. He he pres he presented me this this uh, hoodie so my soul hey don't make fun of it don't make fun of it it's a present from the mayor oh, no, I just, i'm laughing at the slogan no don't make fun of it <laughs> he, he it's his personal like he had as a personal I think, touch here i, I think it's i good. saw you i think was better no yeah yeah so my soul no mm. i okay i don't know about the i even i think the pictogram design is cute but like i saw you doesn't even make sense what was it before it was i saw you what was it before that? It's probably like <laughs> high soul or something. What was the one ridiculous about Busan? Like I love Busan. Busan is good. Busan is good. Busan is good. <laughs> before Who comes the... up with these? They get paid money to come up with these slogans. <laughs> like I can do a better job. Busan than... is good. <laughs> Don't. Okay. I That's mean... the best they could come up with. Before that, it was dynamic Busan. Oh my god. <laughs> But I think Soul My Soul is literally good. Like, it's not because I'm biased with the mayor right now. <laughs> but, like, 
It's it's pretty good. Don't you think so? Like they use like the heart uh, instead of O, and then like use the exclamation mark for the Y, and then there's like a happy face for the U. And like soul, my soul, it literally the rhymes, and there's like a meaning behind it. It's like soul. Oh, I heard I heard like a behind the scenes story from the mayor. Okay, Ma- spill the T. Should I? Am I able to say this? No, this was politically like you know a big problem. So. Oh. Uh, he the the current mayor right now Oh Seo Eun he yes. was a mayor for two times like not consecutively but oh, okay. like skipping stones. Yeah. But um, while he was mayor, he made another slogan, and back then it was "Soul, a uh, Soul of Asia." Oh, I saw. Yes. I saw it, this. It was yes. "Soul of Asia," oh. and apparently, uh, a time came where he had to like withdraw that um, slogan uh-huh. and try to guess the reason. Because of the other Asian countries. Like, which Asian country? Japan. No. Who? The obvious. China. Yeah. Uh, so Chinese people, there was huge backlash mm, against that slogan, mm, "Soul of Asia." Mm, like, how dare you say you're the soul? Because Chinese people think they're the center of the world. Literally, mm, literally, they have that mentality. It's mm, in their like doctrine. Yeah, yeah. And it's in um, their blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Chunghua Sang. Yeah. And um. Because of that, they were like, "How dare you, a small country like Korea, use a mm. slogan like that? Who, who said you're the soul of Asia?" And mm. then there was so much backlash, and there was so much pressure because Chinese tourists are like a very big backbone of yeah. like, the tourist economy. Yeah. And then, like, I think, like, what he said it was like it was, he was like half pressured to like withdraw that you yeah. remove it. So <laughs> that's funny. <sighs> yeah. But do you guys think this hoodie is nice? It's pretty. What do you think? Why are you laughing? What's the reason of your laugh? I literally think it's cute. That's okay, why I'm wearing so it. So any, but anything that you can get out of your your new found friendship with the soul mayor. Yeah, like this kind of hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was his house nice? It was. It was nice. Yeah. yeah Where does he nice. live? He lives in Hanamdo. Hanamdo, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you went to the when you went to the old blog. Um, influencer party yeah. there's one like uh, fitness guy influencer that I follow on Instagram that okay. he was at the same place okay, so okay. he it came up on his stories and I was like oh, damn because he's so like, I find him so attractive <laughs> like really I find him so, so what are you get, what are you getting to like hook you up or something or what no, I mean to be honest I'm just like I appreciate these people but it's just like okay. I don't expect anything okay, no okay. Yeah, really. I don't expect anything parentheses like, but that. if you this is are, all I was talking if you about. do know him <laughs> No, no. Okay, okay. And yeah, people like the hoodie. See, I'm thinking of selling it on our <laughs> upcoming website. Oh. <laughs> mm. Spoiler. <laughs> Ain't the Maya corrupt? I mean, I won't say my political views of him, but like recently, I've been getting a lot of like nice, um, optimistic, positive uh, views on him. Yeah. Busan kind of good. <laughs> Busan kind of good. Yeah, that's that's even better. I think it has like the southern feel to it. No? Busan is okay. <laughs> Busan. No. <laughs> but you know what? Like I was impressed with the mayor mm. because like everybody's saying depressing news nowadays, right? Mm. Like about the population decrease, the economic fall, whatever. And when I was having dinner with him, he actually had like a surprisingly a very optimistic point of view, and it was very critical upon the people who were like foreshadowing this dark future. Mm. He he was really bullish on like Seoul and Korea as a whole. He was like, we have no problem to worry about. Like you know, Seoul and Korea is now just at its starting point. Like it's gonna peak even more. Like, I think it's because like compared to his days like ten years before, mm-hmm. and what you see like Seoul and Korea's status right now, mm-hmm. it's like monumentally different. Mm-hmm. Like what Korea was. Like ten years before and now, mm. so he's like, it's just a start right now. You know, there's not going to be a shortage of people because we can, you know, like replace that with like technology and robots and mm. whatever. Mm. And like Seoul is made up as like a creative hub. There's like finance and there's like you know tourism here. Mm. So like these backbones are going to sustain the economy. And he was mm. like very oh, okay. Well, I mean, he's Reasonable. the sole mayor. Of course, he's gonna no. But he truly <laughs> believed in that, so I was like really impressed because it's like a very optimistic view. Not nowadays, a lot of people don't have. David, are you being paid to say all of this? No, I'm not being paid. I'm not being paid. I literally <laughs> respect the man now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he like. Do you know what happened to his first mayor? Um, 
like uh, period. Mm, you happened? you don't you don't know domestic politics. No. You don't follow it, right? So he was a very light lawyer. He was very he's very handsome, and he he got well known for uh, winning a case on something called like the sunlight rights. So okay. apparently, if like a construction company makes a, two apartments, mm -hmm. and the first apartment is like like not uh, doesn't built, get enough sunlight. like do doesn't get enough sunlight. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a law for that, oh. but because he won that case, oh. um, you know the the construction companies now have like an obligatory you know um, uh, distance between each building, so mm. they can't get greedy. They have to like get sunlight, procure sunlight for mm. each building. So he was the lawyer who won that first case and legislated that and then he became mayor because he became like super famous on tv for being handsome and well-spoken mm. and then um he did a lot of stuff and like 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 renovated hangang and all that kind of stuff made ddp mm -hmm. and uh yeah but um he he kind of ended his own career Why? because he promised free food for all students all school students like how? From cafeteria or in uni cafeteria? From tax money. Oh. So people were really against that. Oh, yeah. How is he going to follow through on that? Obviously. No, there was tax money, but oh. then the people were uh, against that because first of all, it's using tax money and also yeah. uh, it's going to downgrade the quality of the food. Mm, yeah, yeah. And then like, you know, people can choose what they want to eat and all that mm, kind of stuff. Mm. So um, all, all, there were a lot of mixed issues. Mm. And then uh, because of that, you know, he kind of ended his own career as a mm. soul mayor. Mm. So, yeah. Interesting. No, and David is not being paid. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not sponsored by the mayor. <laughs> Do you, would you want to be mayor? Would you? Me? Yeah. I would not go into politics. Yeah, honestly. it's too much responsibility. It's too stressful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, even New York, the iconic um, I Love NY, mm. they also changed that. Really? Yeah, and there was a big backlash. See, like, I that. Love NY, it's like simple as hell. Yeah, it's simple, it gets to the point. Busan <laughs> is good! <laughs> what? What's the difference? <laughs> I love New York. Busan <laughs> is good. What's? I don't see a big difference there. <laughs> don't make fun of my hometown. The Busan Expo was kind of lame, though. Like the video. Yeah, like yeah. Lame, and it, like we Gangnam lost. Gangnam style. Yeah, we lost. All so. that kind of stuff. How tall are you both? I'm five foot four. I'm one eighty. Yeah. Okay. Let's, okay, let's, let's go, go lunch, now. Yeah, yeah, I need to after lunch. I need to edit. So, guys, thank you for joining and thank you for all the super chats and for chatting. Um, next week, we don't know if we're gonna be just us two or if we are somebody else. We'll put out a link. But yeah. Have a good, is it what day is today? Weekend? Yeah, I guess. So have a good rest of the week and a good weekend. So see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>